washed away now as we're back into action. Charges in possession. Steinl first involvement. Low post there. Nice bucket there for Lauren Mills wearing the 15. Good start by the Chargers. Of course, Steindl's first game in almost two years, having come back from the birth of her two children. So great to see her yeah, out Vince there. Vince Aleu underneath to Steinl. It's the Vince Aleu Steinl show at the right, moment. Hard work to get back, as we know, from that sort of injury, especially at a young age. Makes the first bucket there. Underneath out of Vince Aleu. The physical attention there from Mavlovich. <laughs> he makes the two off the glass. And she is confronted. She has to dish off. And Pass no good. Here's Vince Aleu. End to end staff. Left hand layup. Makes it. And that is the scout on Angie Vince Aleu. Finlayson now. Sums up her options. Steindl up against Webb, goes in, gets some nice space left-hand side of the lane and puts it up for two. Yeah, nice finish there from Kayla Steindl. Out away from those traditional bigs of the Chargers. Nice little pass over to Steindl, and that's an unusual shot, but uh, yeah, she did it beautifully. <laughs> done the great, the, vine, glass. the great vine footwork there to <laughs> lay that one off the glass. Uh, they've doubled their lead in this, well, they've, sorry, they've quadrupled their lead in this second quarter. In it comes now, and a nice bucket there made by Kayla Steindl. Well, seven in the first half, one here in this quarter. Here goes Vince Aleu, finds some space, drives in, makes two, and will go to the line for one. And that's, I think Bartlett was pretty lucky there too, tried to help guide the offensive player to the defence. Quick transition, Banks out to Steindl, long one for three, that is Kayla the, Steindl. Just execu Mister. execution here for the Tornadoes, they just need to settle a little bit offensively. Banks, Finlayson with a lot of time at the top, makes three. Yeah, nice shot there from Alex Finlayson, so that brings that one to yeah, 15 points. Just a little run here from the uh, Chargers. Against Kay, good defence Kay. Well, Banks gets her own rebound. Then it's off to Erin, who makes it Ruby Erin. Yeah, nice dive there by Ruby Erin. Good eyes by Zoe Banks. The Lawrence Heston Tornado. She missed the first five, and she's got a last four. So that 40 percent's looking good. Nice little bucket there from Kayla Steindl. I mean, along with the Chargers squad, but this Tornado squad would have to be one of the youngest in the NBL 1 South competition right now. And they are just playing like a bunch of veterans. Speaking of veterans, get out of here, says Kayla Steindl. <laughs> into getting out on these open shooters because they are just firing left, right and centre. It's got to be, he, he was saying, clear communication cannot be half-hearted. They're very indecisive at the moment, so it has to be clear and precise. So a nice return yep. here for Kayla Steindl. Absolutely. She'll uh, be a great acquisition for the Chargers. There's a long shot here from Zoe Banks. He makes three. Yeah, Zoe Banks gets that one to four. Rebound taken there by Vince Aleu back on the court. She had a bit of time off tonight because of foul trouble. Makes a beautiful bucket there with a spin. Executed there by the Tornadoes. Absolutely wonderful to watch. Huge from Riley Lutfler. Vince now Banks at the other end makes three. Vince Aleu getting through, making herself Really known. keen to see Venky go around. Very well-credentialed basketballer around Australia. As Hobart drives the hoop there through their new import, Devin Watson. So starting five for the uh, charge tonight is Sam McDaniel. Drains an early three. That was excitement plus there from Venky Joyce. Welcome to the Northwest Coast. Coast. McDaniel, no good. Angerstein out. He's one Rebounds. Back on oh, and gets one back That's there on Joyce. Expect. Gets the ball back now. Goes up against Angerstein. Yeah, that That's a, not Paul Campbell's go, that. Gets his own rebound, though. Campbell. Shouldn't like that. As Watson. Oh, lovely little teardrop off the glass. <laughs> the effort was fantastic. Blew the layup, though. Watson goes baseline. Crashes into uh, Armstrong. And it's oh, called for the charge. Block. Hargrave, good uh, smart. Huge three there by Watson. Oh, no good. Is... Oh, but the easy two there by Jordan Hargrave. Boucher, who's been playing with Latrobe up here in the NWBU. As Watson again. Oh, misses the shot, but the great clean-up jam there from Callum Boucher. Uh, Ten points for the night. Thunder back out to a one-point lead. Now McDaniel spin, mid-range jump shot. He's, oh, roll. gets the friendly roll. A few issues with the stats, so we'll try our best to keep you updated. We do know the score as Angus Stein cleans up for the easy two-hand jam. Guarded by Trey Armstrong. McDaniel kicks over to Watson. Watson, good defense here by the Thunder, but Angus dunk. Stein, young teenager in French. Now over to Hargrave. Goes to work on the jock. Goes baseline and gets it to drop. Good drive there by Jordan Hargrave. So Joyce now. How's he go? He goes to work. There's the spin move. Up and under. He's going to struggle to get that one up. Gets his own rebound. Missed that one too, though. And the rebound there by Hargrave. So you look at sneaky game tonight. I know you're a big fan of 
the sneaker scene within the, the basketball community as oh George and Hargrave. Got that role. How'd that go down? The, the, the gold standard in court cleaning is the Tassie Jack Jumpers. They've got a oh, guy. Mate. I'm not sure who he is. Oh, and a three pointer there from Boucher in the corner. Chilcott pull up too long. Chargers grab the rebound. McDaniel off and running. Oh, you end up with the easy little one hand jam. That great work there by Venky Joyce on the rebound. He's going to be good value this season oh. for the Thunder. Uh, oh, Angus time. Oh, he attacked. She's taken a couple dribbles, made a move, actually got some freedom to play. Banks kicks it off to Steindl. Steindl with a three. Hobart three, Danny Nong two to start things off. Great Blocked steal. off. Well done. Good steal. Earned the bucket. It was Vincent Iaru for the Hobart Chargers. Been lacing on for her first minutes of the evening too. Steindl. Might go long ball. Three ball there from Kayla Steindl. was good. She gets it back. Hands it off to Steindl. Steindl might go for another three ball. She does. It's good action by Hobart. <laughs> Had a cracking contest. Three threes. To her name. Griffiths hits the deck. Griffiths has hit the deck a few times. Two very experienced players in Watman and Booth. Yeah. So they've supplemented their youth quite well with some good vets. Oh, that's a great three there from O'Neill. Warlow went fine into the science, into, the, into that front row keel last night. Booth at the 45. I wonder how he's feeling playing tonight for Keelor. I Pot. imagine extremely sore. Oh, he would be. Steindl. With Banks. Kicks it back to Steindl. Steindl for a deep two. That's better from Kayla Steindl. Really going to be able to guard Potch, but I guess Sammy Simons will give it a really good go. Yeah. As we mentioned on the game on Thursday against Waverley, the Chargers sink a three through O'Neill. Booth hits the deck. Bradley from long range. It's good there for Paige Bradley. Looked good off the execution from Niven Brown. Just didn't execute properly. Here's Steindl from long range. That's better from Kayla Steindl. Paige Bradley. I've really liked her game tonight too, Paige. Kicks it off. Finlayson in the corner. That's much better from Finlayson. Couldn't get that one to roll in. She grabs her own O board. Kicks that off beautifully to Clay Kayla Steindl. And Steindl makes it a 12-point buffer now. Taylor, corner three, misses. Booth, got through O'Neill, couldn't get underneath the rim. Niven Brown tussling for it. Taylor did well. Ashland, Vincent Iaru for the Chargers. Kicks into the corner for Paige Bradley. Bradley sinks a three. Bradley shot well tonight, and she's now into double figures. A good deep two there from Nadia Poch. Here's Bradley. This is for three. And Paige Bradley gets the charges back to within seven. I wouldn't be surprised if she'll be... It's been oh. fairly efficient from my eye. Kick off here to O'Neill. Yeah, no. 11 to 21 for 52%. Heads back to Taylor. Inside for Holly Griffiths. Blocked off beautifully there by Steindl. Number 24... And that is Kayla Steindl. In the corner there is O'Neill for three and strokes it. Game tied at three. Is Steindl and brings it now across into the hands of Paige Bradley who drives hard to the rack and gets the shooter's roll. Good ball rotation there. Trying to get to the basket there was Hobart but nothing there. And downtown from three, or four three I should say. And what it was the day before which Something she's going to have to learn to ad adapt to. It's um, It can be quite oh, physical. Geez, what a great move to the basket there by O'Neill. They dump it inside there to O'Neill. Kicks it back out. Just pushing it through hands. Very patient offensively. Shooting from downtown for three was Paige Bradley. Checked into the game. Oh, moving screen there. No call. They try to dump it inside to Bartlett. She does a smart move. Kicks it back out there, sets it back up, shooting from downtown for three. And I'll tell you, Paige Bradley can. Good scoring opportunities, and the Hawks have really cooled off. Ball now, pass. beautiful pass in there. That was from O'Neill into Steindl. Just... Comes up short, Trotto will get the rebound and kick it back out there. Britton to Trotto. She just goes to her favourite, but gets rejected there. Knocked away there by Mills. And she's got it again, spin wheels and deals. Kicks it back out there to O'Neill. 
just the intensity of the drive to the basket. Oh, geez, Kayla Steindl. Remind the girls we've got probably the best player in the league here, or one of, and uh, we need to get her the ball, and they did. Downtown for three, and she's done it again, Paige Bradley. She is uh, is running the point there for Hobart. The dump it inside there to Steindl. She's going to, that, there's that matchup there, Whittle on Steindl. Pulling up from three from downtown there was Vinasayu. And, and a great recovery for Hobart. They needed that basket. Britain has the ball. Bounce pass in there to Trotto. Well, she got blocked there by Vinasayu, but there might have been just a tad of, just spread the floor a bit at the moment. Farnworth, kick it back out. Oh, nice. Beautiful pass in there. And that is a, well, she got lit clean then. Into the hands there of Mills. Look out. Paige Bradley from downtown for three. Banks it off the glass, didn't call it, but she goes, I'll take it anyway. Ball now back in the hands. Nine on the shot clock there. They've got to get moving. As you see, Paige Bradley there wow, puts it in for move. two. I don't know how she got that in, but she she's, found a way. Dinosaurio has the ball. She's trying to get hard to the rack there. Shows some candy. Still gets her own rebound back there. She's going to try to take on Farnworth, and she does. Gets the shooter's roll. Look, it looked good. It was just, just, it was just two feet to the wrong side. <laughs> it, it did look nice. Ball now with Steindl. Downtown there, Bradley for three. Puts it in the hands of their new import in Devon Watson. He's guarded there by Jonathan Lawton. Kicks it in the corner for three. And knocking that down is Callum Butcher. As Watson has the ball, he's in traffic there. He takes on three, can't score. But, oh, geez, great work there. Ball now with Lawton. Tries to inbound, gets it out of Clark. Spin, goes up against two defenders. Shaken loose, the ball now with Watson. What's he going to do? He's going to take it to the rack, and that is just a really nice finisher. Big he, chains there, and um, yeah. yeah. He actually worked with my wife for a little while, so I know Rel really well, and yeah, he's got so much time for him. He's a class act. That's a great move. Beautiful. Sam McDaniel uh, gets the bonus. Watson from downtown for three. Beautiful nice. stroke. Isn't Again, that? Yeah, he's just a composed kind of guy, isn't he? He's just going to take what the defense gives you, and that's his fourth point for, for Shawnee, so he's off to a good start as well. As we see the ball now back in the hands there. Well, it was a fair bit of physical contact, but it was nice work there to keep that ball alive there. That was Boucher. Jesus, they're playing some good basketball, and these guys are the guys that probably don't get many minutes, and they've just absolutely thrived. He's you know into his 30s now. Um, leadership, whatever the team needs, as he'll provide, he can rebound and he can shoot. That's a great pass too. Oh, and the bonus, and that is a nice move. Give you, give you one when we get a break in the proceedings. As you see, oh, da, Boucher. Boucher gets upstairs and throws that down. What a great finish by, by Boucher. What's the 19-point first half? Was, um, he's was on, very, he's very on, good. He's looking at 40. It's McDaniel just weaves his way in and, again, uses that strength. And now this is where McDaniel gets it across now to Boucher. Oh, pass. beautiful dump in there. Absolutely beautiful dump in there to Richards. He finished, he'll go to the line and shoot the bonus. I must say, Hobart have been extremely impressive with the roster they're running with tonight. As we see, beautiful. Ball now, dumps it inside there, and dunk! How impressive is that man? Boucher, him and Richards. As Watson just trying to get the ball back in, oh, he does it, and there, Richards... Mate, this is a turning into a little bit of a dunk fest for uh, Hobart here. He's been dynamite all night. Just quietly gone about his business. McDaniel dumps it inside there to Richards. And a foul and a bonus. And so he's got a little bit of a communication breakdown here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice there by McDaniel. But uh, Watson and Boucher were just trying to sort things out there in the backcourt. That's the confidence that uh, Stewart is showing. Is Watson from downtown for three. Oh, Hello. That was a long way out. Man, that, that was pretty. He, his jump shot is so soft. Ball now with Griffiths. Now to Watson. Setting the screen there is Boucher. Oh, oh great beautiful. Pass. And the Boucher. Absolute. Every colour of the rainbow as Bartlett maintains that pivot over inside to O'Neill. An easy basket there for Steindl. Second opportunities. Put it on the board. Two points, two rebounds early for Kayla Steindl, who big game last week, Ronnie. Existential, you know, extensive pressure on the defensive end has certainly had a success against Hobart so far this year. Bartlett, a post option that she didn't realise. Steindl working through traffic nicely. And, of course, Kayla Steindl, Ronnie, flat, can't get that to go. Second opportunity is they go up and under. Circus shot, third opportunity. 
looking to get through sets of hands again. Steindl, one-on-one, one-legged fadeaway. Dirk Nowitzki, yes, her NBA idol. She knocks that one down, and Steindl having a massive impact early. A home set five. Yeah. No. Ball to O'Neill, back out to Mills. Wants to go inside to Steindl, oh, and she pass. feeds that nice on the pass. Fading away, Kayla Steindl's on fire. Mimbiel Royalty in the house next week. We've got even more of it this week as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. We'll touch on that on a stoppage, JB. O'Neill on the response, a big three as well. And out to O'Neill, who wants to go inside there to Steindl, trying to run a back pick, doesn't use. Vince Leu, though, lane cleared out. Vince Leu goes all the way herself. Ronaldi now with the ball. Over the top, Karamovic wants to go herself, sees the gap, fighting up. Get out of here, says Leah Bartlett. Not in our house. Goes over to Collins, back to Ronaldi. Pulls up the three. Get out of here, says Leah Bartlett. Second block of the night has been a menace defensively and on the offensive glass. Steindl wanting to roll inside, not getting that matchup she wanted. Bartlett gets the extra step, goes down to Steindl at the foul line, wants to turn fade away, does. Can oh. she get the friendly roll? She can. Rebound taken away by Sharp, who's off and running as well, wanting to put pressure going inside. Get out of here, says Kayla Steindl. Steindl just showing the defensive presence as well too. Banks to Mills, give and go to Finlayson there, rolls into that low post, doesn't use it. Finlayson to Banks, over to Steindl, has passing options there. Banks looks good from our vantage point, nothing but net. Looks good, is good, JB. We had a really good view on that one. Ties up by Steindl, goes back down, fades away. Bang, Kayla Steindl. A lot of that happening in the first half. Oh, deep breaths here in the commentary box. We have a heater of a game. Absolutely we do, JB. Of course, we'll touch on low-scoring games as we run. Block and one for Fitzalayu. Shoulders there, stripped away on the double team from O'Neill and Finlayson. Back to the starting lineup here for the Chargers. Finlayson, signature long two, bang! And that's the shot that we know Finney well for, Dad. Bartlett wants to go inside, doesn't. Flashing now, Steindl, game high, 23 points. The only charger in double digits. O'Neill down to Bartlett, wants to go herself, doesn't. Finlayson, Fitzlayu to end the game. That is game, JB. So probably three to six weeks with a meniscus disruption there. Okay, that's the latest update we have for you. Hargraves from three, yes. Big basket there, rattles at home. Jordy Hargraves. Now at Ballarat, at his new home. Davison, and again, good two-man action. It's Get out of here. By Hargrave, but then seconds galore by the Miners. They can't first, fourth. Six playing three. And now Richard's down low. Richard throws it down for a two-hand. Wham, jam, bam. Thank you, man. And can't get the layup to go. Now back down the other end we go here. Davison once again involved. The action. Get out of here. Rejected by McDaniel. As Watson again exploring. Nice pass in the Boucher. Boucher for the easy two. Yeah, nice basket there. And here for Devin Watson. He's starting to really penetrate, try and draw the defense and getting that facilitation underway as well. Went up with the left, settled in the air, changed to the right. Easy as you like. Watson. Oh, Ooh, nice move. Can he finish it? Yes. The defenders just checked into the canteen for a bottle of water at quarter time there. Watson with a big move. And now Posiglu going up. Can't get that to go. Watson is clear. Bosby up for the challenge. But uh, Watson says, I'll get the two on that one. So Watson now looking to explore. Watson putting on some moves, looking for the foul. Can't get one. Gets the two to go though, nonetheless. And now, and a poor pass by the Miners sees Hobart pick that one off. Again, you're off and running. Looks like it's going to be uh, one of the Clark twins coming on as Watson knocks it down from downtown. So White now Boucher inside, one on one with Davison. He gets the foul and some advice as well too. Callum Boucher will go to the line for one. Now Richards, back to White. White finds an opening over Brooks and gets it to go. Sack White will go to the line for one. So Watson working his way through, looking for the roll. Can't. Now goes, oh, beautiful pass. Sack White with a nice two. And you would have to think Stewart is the shooting threat on this one. It could well be. We know Archie is a knockdown shooter as well, too. So McDaniel, now Watson. Watson decides oh to fire God. from Oh, my God! Oh, my God! And gets it to go! I hope you're enjoying the coverage, Nashi, and good to hear from you. Meanwhile, Ferguson, now McDaniel. McDaniel decides to fire from deep, and it was a good option yeah. for Sam McDaniel. Big shot for Sammy Mack, and the big thing now is got to get a stop. Dunmore couldn't get the three to go, so Hobart quickly... Responding kind here, Watson steps through, gets it to go, puts his arms up in the air like he just don't care, and we'll go to the line for one. 
Yes, we are covering the UBL course and part of our big coverage uh, here in Hobart. Oh, Hobart Devin Watson. Watson! Beautiful move to the basket. And they themselves have put on 31. Bears so down low. Now back to McDaniel. McDaniel pulls up from the top of the key. Yes. Bang. Big shot there by McDaniel, but again, it's a very start and stop game and it needs to be moving forward here. Wanting to go the dribble. Hesitant there. Has a roll option with Steindl. Loves that short pocket. There's that matchup we talked about against Brolling. First punch of the fight, so to speak, thrown by Steindl. Let's see what this next five minutes or so tells for the Knox Raiders with, you know, with their stamina. Steindl seals, fades away. And I could get used to watching that all night long as we did last night, Ronnie. Another two points for Taylor Steindl. A lot of teams do beat us on the trans on the transition, so our transition D needs to be a whole lot better. As Angie Vinsalehu getting through, working through contact, gets that one to drop. Hesseldale on the drive there as Finlayson now. Bartlett with the ball, slows up on the wing, wants assistance, goes to Steindl for three. That rattles home, JB. 12-11 the score line. That ball getting through sets of hands once again. Great movement here. Frolling left alone, but get out of our house. That's what Zoe Banks is saying here at home for the Hobart Chargers. Bartlett cleaning the glass. You have to think Windex looking for a sponsorship there. Steindl <laughs> spreads the floor back to Bartlett. Has Finlayson again if she wants, doesn't. Goes herself, follows the shot, nothing but net. She's going to probably be thinking about that Player of the Week award. Sponsored, of course, by Ooh, football. Nice Finlayson. Short corner, O'Neill gets the bottom of the net. Pretty no, offense by the Chargers, and Jess May has seen enough. She'll call timeout, JB. Quarter number one, the second game for the Chargers in the 2023 Trials Express at Mio and South season. Mills drops dead, hook shot, basket, and one. And Lauren Mills worked really, really hard last night, Ronnie. As Vince Aleo again had a bit of a knee concern at one point. Steindl, three, bang! Just on fire at the moment. I don't think she's missed, JB. Well, and unfortunately not on that occasion for Vince Aleo. Zero of two there. Taken away on the defence here, and you would think should be an easy lap. Go for the drive, does. Contact and one. Talk about a celebration and a half, JB. Absolutely. <laughs> Steindl saving that one. Goes to Vince Aleu, who's going to want to potentially pull up here, maybe. Splits the defence, fades away at 15. Bottom of the net. Oh, why not? When you've been on fire, going downhill on the break. Need to make the most now of this opportunity. Vince Aleu wants to go herself. Six seconds, posting up against Froling, gets her in the air, hesitant, shot off glass is good. Communication, be really up and in on him like here, like we see right now, and be really potent on your box out. But tough move there by Sarah and Stein off. But I think right now you've got to keep her out on the floor and just take a gamble. And if she fouls out, she fouls out. Yeah, game now at 14. As Sarah O'Neill, maybe she's the one to step up in the fourth quarter. Rerouted there through Bartlett, who then rotates over defensively onto Quirk, who's going isolation, goes to spin. Kick out pass over to Hesterdale. Get out of here, Angeliki Vincelehu on Paige Burrows. O'Neill streaming down the floor. She's had a nice contribution to this ball. Now in turn, McDaniel. McDaniel working his way through over a coop. Gets the foul and will get the basket to go. He'll go to line for one. We're talking about crowd, Ronnie, in the previous game. McDaniel, he's off and running. Has Hargraves in support. Pull up Jay off glass. Can't get no, going. Jacob Richards from the crowd. Now Hargraves for three. Yes. And Jordy Hargrave has a lot of top, lot of uh, two rebounds. The steal, two points, getting his hand in everywhere. Watson putting on a clinic. Pocket pass in the best day for the two. And this is a far different Hobart lineup than we saw last night, Ronnie. They are energised. Swain who got up over Hargraves there. Ooh, pocket pass tried through, but McDaniel able to pick it off. Off and running as Bisto in oh, support. The Bisto gets the two off a beautiful pass by Sam McDaniel. It's an adventure to uh, quarter time. Just see who they might be. Meanwhile, Watson going to, to work here. Kick out pass. White open for three. Yes. And Zach White with a really solid return game. And some a 1 2 2 press here by the, Ra uh, by the Raiders. Good work by Leon Henry. Zach White for the two off the pre pass. Yeah, gets that one as a little slapstick comedy there. That signature Zach once again. Meanwhile, Strassman to restart. He needs to get it in and does. Yeah, in White nicely. for three. Looks good. Oh, he's he's it good again. for Zach White from downtown. Oh. As he is to come through. Double team for McDaniel, but able to get out of that. Watson, extra pass. Richards, baseline, tiptoes through and oh, gets the layup. I thought we were going to get one of those famous lines. We're getting a nice off the glass there. Extend this one back out to 11. Now, Richards. Look, oh, Watson on the backdoor play. Yeah, really a lot of misdirection there. Tried to get none off guard and did.
Boucher with the rebound, and now Watson off and running. Watson goes up, cross-court pass, great vision. McDaniel for the fish, he touches! Watson, wide. Richards now puts it to the floor. Nice Euro step move to the basket. Yeah, big move there, Jacob Richards. Really built his confidence here in this second game. Now Bairstow. Here's McDaniel into Richards. Nice play by the Chargers. Yeah, big shot there from Jacob Richards. They are looking for the lost arc here, Knox. Yep, my word. And now Watson needs to fire. Fake shot. Buzzer. Boom! Yes! Devin Watson for the land of plenty. Knocks it down on the shot clock. Buzzer beater. Meanwhile, Watson now, as Richards will check back in. That's a quick sub. So Watson looking to split through. Does finish layup. Yeah, nice work there from Bairstow, dude, to create space. Just hold up. Back out to five out points. to five, as you mentioned, JB. Now Watson now looking to go exploring once again. Nice pass to White. White goes up. Nice. Now, and he'll go to line for two. Bodies hit the floor. Shot clock at ten. McDaniel picks that one off. Off and running has Watson in support. Watson to Boucher for the two-handed bam, bam, jam. Spinlation now with the ball. It's having some work done as well, but she appears to be fit and firing. Steindl, fade away. You love to see it, Ronnie. You Ab- love to see absolutely. it. Absolutely. With the referees, that's for sure. Just but it's, it's, all in good, it's all in good play. Oh, um, and that's the thing. There's and, no- and, it's, and it's passionate as well, too. And good to see some of, some of the... Oh, Banks with a miracle pass. Oh, I don't know whether she work. meant that. Yeah, in the northwest coast, they'll be playing the Tigers tomorrow night. Yes, in Olveston. After a couple of after a big loss last week, Stein over three, and that gives the crowd a little bit of energy. They've got Where's this ten on the score. Ten. I we thought might she have had, to, We might double check we'll that. Double JB. check. I thought she had twelve. Either way, double digits there for Simons. Back to a car. Mills, Glass, and one. Meanwhile, one of five for David Farmers. <laughs> we'll keep track of the referee shooting numbers throughout Good the season. Good grief! Vincel- Be fair. Vincelio, bo- <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> oh boy! Kick pass, O'Neill, three. No wedgie that time. On that one there. Ball now, Mills. Skipping over, Bradley for three. Looks okay, gets nothing but net. Great, great look and great vision by Steindl as well too. Rebound there by Bradley. You would think this is the last play of this quarter for Hobart. May not. Oh, thread the needle to Vince Leo, who paged Bradley. Bradley now with the ball. Over to Mills, to Steindl. Squares up from deep. On the way through, Bradley wants to step through. Corner pass, Steindl, Vince Leo, top of the key. Bradley, the same as you like. Great ball movement, good extra pass. Ball movement once again. Mills catches high post, back to the basket. In turn to Vince Leo, Seal, Steindl, Dirk Nowitzki, one-legged, crooked leg, doesn't matter, it's all net. Has options inside, Steindl, Mills, Vince Leo, goes inside, has options, that's Bradley. From the car park Looks itself, good. nothing but nylon. You do 39, 90 seconds or so remaining. Oh, crossover, Vince Leo goes to split. Maybe overhandled it a little bit much, but O'Neill cuts inside, needs reward and gets it. Options inside, six seconds. Vince Leo wants to go herself. Looks like she's going to go the whole way. Turn around, fade away, 15, nylon. So Steindl to Bradley to Banks. Squares up, doesn't look too bad. Nails that one, Zoe Banks. That looked good from our angle, JB. That one just rattling home nicely, and now out to 23 here. To kick out past Broomhall, goes the dribble over to Steindl, back to Bradley, who's not afraid. Oh, uses the pace and the first step, the mid range jumper. Yeah, and again, Pagey can be explosive off that first. That's Coco, sister Ruby in support, splits through over to Ashland, who wants to go to work herself. Does gets the basket. Great offense, and the crowd up and about too, JB. We're on the transition here for Hobart as Aaron slowing down, kick out pass. Can Ruby Irem get Why the not? front? Yes, she can. Why not? And when everyone is up and about, that ca- contagious feeling, JB. Here tonight so far. Absolutely. McDaniel works his way through. Up. Can he get the go? He can. He'll go to the line for one. Sam McDaniel. Full game either way. 10 out of our score line. McDaniel looking to respond here. Goes for a pass in the best. Oh, nice play by the two there. And now McDaniel coming down the floor here for the Chargers. Spin move galore into Richards. Pretty play by the Chargers. Yeah, and great move there by Sam McDaniel. He loves going one side, cutting the up. Mc, McDonald and uh, so I'll get it. I'll have to. You'll have to say it a few times, Joe. Seven Convicus. Seven Convicus, but Zach White draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Couldn't get that to go. Besto off and running. Watson into White. Oh! Pretty pass into McDaniel. And he gets it to go. Sam McDaniel returns to the line. 
now Chahol. Shot clock at eight here for the Tigers. Chahol gets busy. Get out of here! Boucher. Boucher says, no way, Jose. Now we're quickly up the floor here. Under a minute to go here, term number one. Watson looking for an opening. Oh, Splits through. Run. Pretty as you like. Devin Watson likes it. He'll go to the line for one. You seven, want to five, say hi? Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Richards oh, throws it down. With a fingertip two-handed. Blam, bam, tram. Thank you, man. Couldn't get it to go. Now, McDaniel off and running. Watson has gazed to be. And now, White. White Doesn't mind a transition. Three. three. Yes, sack White from downtown. Bang. Nothing but nylon and found the bottom of the peach bar. Inside to McDonald, well picked off by White. Now Watson up and running. Watson trying to split for a couple and gets that one rattle huh? Watson thought about it and then got Richards down low. Double team right. Strasma for his first two. Gets inside, works hard. Really happy with his work there. Meanwhile, Bairstow with it here. Gets the screen from Watson. Now Bairstow going to work. And Bairstow gets the two. Jack Perch is coming off second best. And that's the second time this game he's come off. Oh, and he is concussed. Not good. That's he's not dizzy. Good. So McDon- oh, sorry, McDaniel now working his way through. Richards for three. Yes. And Jacob Richards having a really good single game, Ronnie, as we mentioned. Did well to follow up his shot. Jordy Hargrave did better on the box out. Watson with some moves. On oh. goes. Gets it to go. Great move by Devin Watson. Shot clock at 12 as McDaniel needs to get a bit of a wriggle on here. Spin move. Floater. Good. So nice work there by Sam McDaniel. And putting it to the floor now, looking for Kozak. Does now Kozak. Get out of here! By Angerstein. Angerstein with a big defensive block there. As the crowd get involved here at the Hobart Netborn Sports Centre. Purchase. Puts oh. up, rejected by McDaniel. Besto women now. Now Watson. What's a foul? Yeah, Gazy wants him to get up. And now McDaniel oh. throws it down. Two handed one. Oh, that's a good take. Good contact there. That's a pretty good effort on the charge attempt there by Luke Rosendale. Nice. That's a good strong take by Lat. We want more of that. Next one will be a foul, probably. Oh. oh. We've also got one of our referees. Oh, oh that's nice play. Yeah, that's nice. We've also got an event running tonight, don't we, Meg? Yeah, we sure now, do. iPod Shuffle Night. Sure, iPod Shuffle Night. We've got the ladies night on tonight. And it's experience behind him. He's more than happy to take the team and put them on his back, as he does again. What a beautiful move. Nice little spin move into nearly a Kelly Wilson. <laughs> if he can just keep that up, he'll be able to keep the Braves in it. Ooh. I like potentially go to the, the end foul line. Got a middle pick and roll. The young guy, Lockie, came in, helped over. Oh, that's a nice corner three. Don't know if Lockie's going to be able to counteract the extra 50 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> McDaniel's got on him, but good on him. Again, Watson's just so fast. Yeah. Try to do that every possession, and then this 10-point lead will, you know, start to go down, unfortunately. They know it's coming, yeah. so they miss it. So we've got Watson again at the top here. Ah, oh, just too good. They Bendigo helped in. So they'll roll again. Nice work. Hobart just working it straight down again, getting another pretty simple yep. basket. And, and it's just all a bit easy, isn't it? Yeah. Watson gives it off. It comes back to White. Just rolling it in. Oh, easy basket once again. Yeah. Bearstow walks away. Boucher decides to wait. Got White there. White sets it up. Here we go. Just sitting under the ring. How yeah. easy is, is this going yeah, to be? Easy. Bearstow there and waits for Hobart to rebound. When you're in front like this, you can take a shot from anywhere. Tried really hard and got it in. So classy stuff from Sam McDaniel. It would be nice. Rebounded up the court. So the Chargers give it off. Yeah, easy basket in the end, wasn't it? Just run straight through the middle. But if they want to. We're going for the juggler though. Richards throws it through. How about that for a pass? Oh. Thought he Watson got there, Johnson. Again. Watson. Got a couple to beat. Doesn't care. How about oh, that for a big dunk? Nice work by Callum Boucher. By Willie Ferguson. Still possession. 
And Ferguson goes again. Little tricky one round the back goes in. Pumped as ever. I can tell, mate. I can tell you pump ready to roll. So good start for the Chargers. So O'Neill still has the ball, gives it back this time. Nothing better, Heath, than when you look on your sheet. And I found it, Paige Bradley with a couple. Finlay Sun gives it off. Stendhal's been good, and that's terrific. Great start. Here we go, Paige Bradley again. She can't miss tonight. She cannot miss. So Bradley, little hook around the back here. Stendhal, nice basket. Steindl to Bradley. The Chargers sit and wait back over to this girl who's been terrific right behind it. How about that from Sarah O'Neill? O'Neill just back to Mills. Set it up. Steindl got a hand on it. Look good in footy, Sarah. So Bradley tries to Brilliant. go herself. Yeah, I agree totally, mate. Bradley didn't hurt from her from there three more points got Cox to beat here Steindl Paige Bradley trying to add to her points with 15 so far just hops it over there the ref's in the way but I know it's gone through one after this break Ooh, hey, oh, very this, risky pass yeah indeed Paige Bradley says I'll have it Stendhal gives it off nice work Hobart Broomall's caught a couple of points so far. Had some opportunities there. Kind of just threw it over Ooh, the top. Oh, the underarm finishing. Gets it back. Needs to pass it off or shoot one of the two. Here it is from the corner. Oh. Real nice work Going in there. Under pressure. By Sarah O'Neill. A breather from the guard duties, point guard duties. Steindl gives it off nicely. Much mm. better for Hobart through Chloe Broomall. Heron, oh, just a little bit too far for Banks. Means he's got work to do. Well done, Cox. Good screen there from Finlay. Oh, Sun gives. Great finish. Ashland to uh, Banks for three. Nice work in there by Sarah O'Neill. A minute left. And... Heron. So O'Neill got a couple to beat here. Did well. Grabs a foul at the same time. The offload was quite good. Back to Broomhall. Got two to beat if she can. Now make it three. Add to that. Here's from the line. Nice oh, work. As Brookshire's pass, just a little bit off the mark. Coming back the other way, Hobart. Finlayson. Going to find Bradley. She'll pull from deep. And, and connects. Nice bucket. Bradley picked up by Antonio Ardu. Big pick coming here from Steindl. Shots up. O'Neill finds the bottom. Good to see some ball movement there out of their three action. Spectre's back into that trap now. O'Neill going to pull the three and connect. Uh -huh. I think Mr. Gaze would uh, be happy to see that. So a little bit of a flex action there. Steindl nice. going to find the bottom of the net. Beautiful hit. Bradley with it. Such a quick step. Getting yeah. space. But again, the open lay. Unable to go. Steindl going to clean it up. And one. They're preventing the post feed. Finlayson, got to make something happen. Steindl, step through, floats it up, and in. Too crafty. Just experience. Yeah, I still think Bradley's really important to them and her ability to get that ball in the backcourt. We need to slow her down. Great feed. And the finish. And so they should be. They've played quality basketball so far. Oh, great little replace there. Bradley finds the bottom of the net. Can she do any wrong and right that's now? a little change up. Picking up Steindl. Feed going to go inside. Great little touch pass. Getting onto the rim here. And the lefty finish is Banks. Love that. And Taylor's obviously being rewarded for a fantastic um, second quarter, starting this third quarter with Rach. Paige Bradley, the bottom of the net. And I think that there has been a small adjustment with Paige. She's gone off the ball. So when she's actually receiving it, it's a bit of a guard-to-guard -guard switch when she's late. So Oh, oh a beautiful finish there. Oh, stay down. Steindl can't get the, the bunny to go. 
Back inside to a tough ball away on the hook. Tough bucket. It's probably something they need to go to, especially if there are switches and it's not including Steindl. Um, good option. And again, Sarah Bradley getting downhill. Great feed inside. The no look pass to Mills. She'll take two points. Spectres needing to string together some stops here. Switching on that high pick and roll action. Brookshire just not able to keep up there with the quicker banks. A lot of off-ball action here. Great find oh, inside great to Broomhall there. Sarah Hill. Hill. Good save there. Nine on the clock from Banks. She's got to go to work. Picked up by Potts. Turns her. Potts gets back and contests. Tough Whoa. play. Tough, tough, tough shot. High pick and roll. Going downhill against White. Bit of contact. Going to stay the way of the Spectres. they got three seconds on the shot clock. That's going to be a matchup that you know, Kingsley's really going to have to work with. Because McDaniel will. He'll hit some turnarounds. He's going to play. You know, the... Good downhill cut there by Jacob Richards. Two points at the basket. He's just so quick. But he has got some sauce with his game. Zach White looking at the triple. He can Jamasi hit him. It's... Dares him down. Dares him to shoot it. You've got your first seven players that could go off at 30 mm -hmm. with ease. Ouch, absolutely. Zach White going to pull this one. Tomasi going to get a hand this time, but... Not so much getting caught in their actions and playing off rotations. Good little feed inside here to Richards. Yep. He's going to get it to go. Oh, good push. Bearstow and Tomasi up top. Running the offense here through Bearstow. And one. Got him in the air. Got five seconds to make something happen. Richards. White. Left wide open by Tomasi. Don't love that coverage. I don't know what you need to have, how many attempts to lead the league in three-point percentage. <laughs> he might be the hits off tonight. No, but that's outstanding shooting by Zach White tonight. Nice, Jack. Way to fight through a Bearstow screen. Bearstow left wide open by Tomasi. Can't Tomasi. leave that. You got it. A couple inches short. McDaniel. Got to contain. Got to contain. Use your Tata. length. Use your length. McDaniel makes it look easy, dancing on the big fella. Because his first step is so good. Great He's containing there. McDaniels there, one-on-one, -on -one, top of the key. Nick Tarts, a little bit late on the block call there. 37.5% from downtown, which back in the old day would be considered elite. No, it's, you know, that mid-30%, but 32. Oh, Zach White. Back to Watson, going to curl. Great little feed there to Richards. Stay on the floor there if you're wig. A lot Watch of contact. Great patience and finish there from Bearstow. I think so will, uh, so will the Chargers. Baxter might have been open for a reason there. As Watson looking to go to work on gear. Easy little flip into the lane. Again, they're just going to back in, gain some inches, wait for the double, kick, oh, extras. Great extras. Very pretty basketball there from the Hobart Chargers. You know, this is big time players got to make some big plays. And guys just got to step up. Guys got to knock shots down. Can't give up great back cut dunks play. though. They're just, again, they're going to eat clock, and this is you know, the one who's not been hitting their shots. Hobart's just going to take their time. And again, that right Too side easy. slashing off the wing. Minute 40 to go. I don't know if that's to try to get, you know, maybe just switch a few more actions. Bairstow, great little dump off. Richard's going to hang around there. Can they continue to, to win this track meet? They have begun to run. Steindl, catch, three, bang, bottom of the net. And, that, and that's really good. Nice little pick and pop play there. Bradley now closest to us. Mills, top of the key. Misdirection on the screen. Steindl, three. Bang, bottom of the net. Yeah, really good misdirection, as you mentioned, Zoe JB. Banks selling that perfectly. Who's looking to go to work herself. Give and go basketball at the top of the key here. As Steindl, turn, fade away. Glasses, good. Bank that one home. It's along with the names on the back of the jerseys tonight as well. Ronnie makes things a bit easier. I'll yes, tell you what's easy, though. That's Bradley with the pass and cut finish there. Nice basket. Some of the young fellas on the far yeah. end there. Yep, as it, uh, Vince Alehu, erratic drive there. Dish out to Banks, pays off, though. I don't know what it is, but everyone loves coming towards near us, Jaybo. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is. We, I think we need security around I, here. I think they're getting behind the team bench there, Ronnie, of course. Yes, yes that's right, Jaybo. We do manage to get another shot to drop, though, for Hobart. Bradley weaving away through traffic. No look. Vince Alehu 
free on the baseline, gets inside, draws contact, and one opportunity. Tofei Ono coming over. Yeah, it is. I mean, they're only taking the five attempts so far, or probably six now. And, yeah, it's been more that inside penetration where, you know, they're averaging 51% from the field. Meanwhile, Finn Lason. Hobart's rebounds, nine of them offensive to Geelong. Big basket, O'Neill trying to cash that back. Big rebound again. Scoble has been sensational on the glass here, impacting. There you go. Stein will get out of the house. That lifts the crowd of the team. Had to tip that one back out. Wants the reset. Steindl has the option. Turn. Fade away. Pass. Finlayson. O'Neill. Corner. Three. Round the world. Passport has been checked at the gate. We'll need to be careful there. Bradley draws contact off glass. Steindl rebound. Draws contact. She'll go to the line for two. And you can just sense Kayla Steindl wants to go herself. Hesitation going the dribble. Round the back. Steindl has to make that. Does! Pretty play by the Hobart Chargers. We're back with an HAB. Geelong, they're looking to build it back through for Hobart. They need to wade the storm. Vitsaleu, one-handed drive, and one! Bulk Nutrients, Campbelltown Hotel, Foot Systems Exercise and Sports Podiatry, Josh Willie, MLC, More Confidence Consulting, Paige Bradley for three. Inside to Steindl, Finlayson, O'Neill, screened by Finlayson. O'Neill, acrobatic off glass! That's, that's very crafty, JB. Ducks screen there, O'Neill. Finsaleu, drive, goes a pull-up, step back 15 feet, nothing but net. That's that's a blessing in disguise right now. So now you've got to capitalise on the matchups here that you've got. Good Roll, good Scoble, O'Neill, corner, three, bang! They've taken now the Richards, lead. Richards in turn to McDaniel here as we work our way through. Shot clock at eight, McDaniel gets busy. Good work by Blackabick. Now goes up McDaniel and gets the two. Boucher open for three is just off on that one. Hicks with the rebound and Geelong up the floor here now. Gatlin one-on-one -on -one with... Get out of here! here! Says McDaniel. Now needs help. Boucher su su uh, supplies it. Kick out pass. Richards for three. Yes! Easy as you like in the corner there for Jacob Richards. He's starting to warm up. Fans thought it was travel referees didn't see it that way. Shot clock at six. Hadley needs to get busy. Hadley goes... McDaniel up. again! And good rejection by, by Sam McDaniel. Three seconds shot right, right there. Three seconds here to go. Hadley to restart into Blagabee. Get out of here, says by Boucher. Boucher. As Blagaby. Now Hadley here at the 45, working his way inside, goes up. Good fake. Get out of here again by Boucher. Fair start to restart. McDaniel here, one-on-one -on -one with Gatlin. Down low we go. McDaniel, spin move, shot, and gets it to go. That is remarkable stuff there. Sam McDaniel is on another level. McDaniel now working his way through. Goes up. Can he get the two? He can. He does get it to drop. I think he wanted a bit of contact on that one there. Make it nine, I think, if, you up, if they update it, JB. Meanwhile, Besto down low. Now Ferguson from deep, yes. Good shooting there, Will Ferguson. He's not afraid to put a shot up now, and he's really solidified himself in the rotation. All right, ball with Hadley here. Now in turn, Hicks at the elbow. Hicks goes exploring. Up Get the out of here. By Bairstow. He says, no way, Jose. Now McDaniel is with us. Slow this one down here. McDaniel works his way through nicely. Draws the foul. He goes to line for one. Yeah, big drive there. Drew the contact, McDaniel. Gatlin into Hicks. Nice play by the by the Geelong United Supercats. And now McDaniel into Bairstow. Oh, through the needle, Sam pretty, McDaniel. Pretty play there by the Hobart Chargers. Nice little laugh there. Zach White with the advice as well too. McDaniel for the finishing oh, touch. Got Hadley right in the air there. That's been a really interesting matchup so far. I think McDaniel has the edge. Yeah, he certainly has. Free throw missed there by the Supercats. Hobart in transition. McDaniel now. Into Griffiths, Griffiths for the layup. Yeah, slapstick comedy there. That makes it an 11 point game. Hugh with it now, looking for his options. Goes to McDaniel. In terms of Richards at the corner for three. Yes. Nothing but nylon there, and that sparked the crowd into life as well. Stewart putting it to the floor. Here's Roby. Roby thought about it. Shot clock at 10. Roby from deep. Yes. Nice shot there by Phoenix Roby. Here's Stewart. Stewart puts it to the floor. Needs help, goes cross-court to Walker. Walker pulls up from deep and gets it to go. Jordan Walker from... Hand off to Triplett. Triplett looking to drive. He gets blocked. And away go the Chargers. Watson taking on Wardlow. Pulling up. Watson all net. That was lovely. 
Hayes Brown, up fake, puts the ball to the floor, backs his man down, double teamed, goes up with it, triple teamed, in fact, blocked. White said, get it out of here. The Oliver Hayes Brown goes to work, backs him down, wears the contact, went up with it, couldn't finish. He's a pleading for the foul, he wasn't happy with it. Down the floor was McDaniel, McDaniel couldn't finish. A mid-court screen there, McDaniel working the ball down, he's got to take on Hayes Brown, kicks it out to the top, to White. Back to McDaniel. He pulls up. Triple. Watson in traffic. Kick out. McDaniel for three. Once he gets started, he's like a fine tractor. Take a while to start, but once he gets going, he keeps going. McDaniel driving. Hayes Brown on him. McDaniel scoring on Hayes Brown. The American National. And he's right here. To the Thunder, driving to the hoop, and one. I pressure them here. They get over with plenty of time. Heath, was he flopping? Watson to the rack. Watson finishing strong. Heath. They'll kick it around. White. Now McDaniel. McDaniel driving, pull up, finish off the glass. That was pretty. At the top. Now to Watson. Watson goes to work here, gets it in to the big fella in Bairstow. Bairstow took on the mismatch, he had Heath. Now to Wardlow, up fake, he goes to the hoop! He's met by the big Bairstow! He says, get it out of here! Great drive to the hoop and one! Bairstow! McDaniel says, give me some room, I want to operate. McDaniel looking to drive, pull up McDaniel. That was sweet. That was sweet by McDaniel. White at the top. Now to McDaniel. He pulls up for three. Bang. He answers back. The crowd goes silent. Watson pull up. Got it. Hayes Brown in the air. Now White versus Heath. That's a mismatch. Great pass underneath to Richards. Brilliant finish by them. McDaniel. Bairstow, Watson from deep, that's from another postcode, Liam Glasgow will call a timeout straight away, just a one point lead, look at this, like I said, that's from another postcode, Live. does fall to Watson though, nice lob pass, yeah, good, nice right. lob pass, good, good vision there by Watson, he's got Bairstow on him, so he pulls up, that one looks short, Berso does the mopping up himself. Now to Watson again, oh, a good, good find. Running. Beautiful dime. Devin Watson finds the cutting set. Well, yeah. good run for the Cobras. Great finish. That's we got good mix up there. Bit of uh, no. Tony Parker <laughs> off the wrong it, foot. Even he's doing what he does. He's you know, he's a scorer and he's a shooter. What oh, a great find. pass again. McDaniel rode the contact from a hail and just the pinpoint back cut. Jacob Richard scores. And a nice drive from Devin Watson. Ursic, similar sort of thing. Big block by Jared Bairstow at the end. Ursic gets caught up in the advertising boards. McDaniel rides the contact, blows it in. McFellow made, uh, that's how he started his run last night, was from the left elbow, but that one just goes a little off. Watson blows by Eddie Tomato. He got the hands in, but Watson powers through. And a big rebound by Richards. Out now to Watson again. Again, just manages to blow by. He's got McMillan to deal with now, but goes up and over the top of Ryan yeah. McMillan. The Cobras have to call timeout because yeah. the Hobart Chargers just keep getting to the rack. Best to do the inbounding. He just opened up Watson Whoa. with the screen, and uh, Watson takes advantage of the big triple to begin this second quarter. Besto draws the switch, gets underneath Ooh. three different Cobras and scoops it up and in. Great yeah. drive, Jared Besto. Nope. Uh, Hale, well beyond the three-point line. Gets three fights further underneath. Big contest in the block from Besto. Swatted out of court. Good D by the Chargers, especially. McMillan looking for the pass into Fell. It was never really on. White just standing in the way. Picked that up. Watson the other way. Takes on McMillan. Goes straight to the hoop and in, so Devin Watson a strong start to the second quarter. I mean, yep. how hard he worked to get that shot away. Uh, that's that's NBL stuff. Hint, hint. McDaniel, oh, speaking great. of NBL stuff. Great finish. Off the front of the iron, a hail. Too late. 
It was, Emery was just waiting for that one. The oh, hell who big blocks that oh, wide. Yeah. And the Hobart Chargers needed that <laughs> defensive effort for them on this trip down the court. McDaniel using the Bearstow screen, scoops it up to Watson. Oh. Eventually gets one to drop and finally he rejoices. He's he only had one shot for the game, so uh, got these four rebounds and two steals. That's a tough finish by Jared Bearstow. I hope it's just uh, minor. A bit of soreness like me in the mornings. Richards made his last triple, made another one, brings it down to within three points. We have a game. Hollingsworth with the rebound. Hollingsworth went to go up with it, but was stripped from the ball. And it'll be the Chargers. They'll be away. They move the ball quickly. Off the glass and scoring is O'Neill. And away go the Chargers. It's Lehu for downtown. In and out. Count the triple. I'll get the offensive rebound. That's their third now. Three ball comes. Splash Bradley from downtown. Steindl making her way to the basket. Kick out to the corner. Points don't come. Lucas with a rebound. Almost stripped of it. Hobart Chargers will get the ball back. They kick it around now. Shot comes from downtown. O'Neill couldn't quite finish off the glass. Probably a rush look there. Chargers down the floor quickly through Bradley. Steindl. Going to work, fading. Brilliant shot there by Kayla Steindl, showing all of her experience. Salad. Christian Dodder into Hollingsworth. Went up with the left hand, partially blocked. Got into Steindl, the kick out comes. Vince DeLehu driving, now to Steindl. Steindl from downtown, bang! Steindl's having a night out. Taking on Shaw, Steindl at the top. The ball across, shot from the corner, Banks. It's the Lehu. Steindl looking for it in the post. O'Neill will go from downtown. O'Neill swish. Now to Boyle, Christian Dotter, driving off the glass. Great rebound there by Steindl. Kick out. Ten seconds shot clock. Plenty of noise here from the Thunder. Driving, finishing off the glass. Great roll there, Mill scoring. Bradley cleans it up though. They go under, Steindl's out the top, Yamazawa finally gets there. Drive comes, Mills was fouled, it'll be an and one. Banks with the ball at the top. O'Neill from downtown, Mills with a rebound, and Mills scoring. Hollingsworth has it out the top, five, four, Shaw now has to shoot. Shaw finishing with a big three, and the shot clock ticking down, did not mind. Bradley, O'Neill, Vince Delehu. Bang! Big free ball for Neil looking to get past Young. Gets into the key. The pass just makes it out in time. Ashland, the big corner three to begin. Great start for the uh, Hobart Chargers and Jasmine Ashland. Crowd, I think we got a little spoiled last night. Retro night, a huge one for the uh, the Kilsyth locals today. A little less enticing to come out with the weather and the Sunday afternoons. Is a beautiful spin move by Vince Lay. No reset, go to their left side, second side, although Steindl sees an opportunity and just had enough space to drill a three and an early 10-2 lead to the Chargers. I didn't think that was going to be a good shot, but she managed to get it away. And but right back the, at you. That's it, under the screen went Haberfield, so up and into the basket. Bradley just saw the trap coming before it happened, managed to get it to Steindl, top of the key, just found herself wide open, Kayla Steindl for three. That's Bradley coming the other way. Steindl open for three again, didn't hesitate whatsoever. Drills another triple to Kayla Steindl. O'Neill waits for the Steindl screen. To the hoop, draws the D, goes up strong, draws the foul and one. May have hit her head on the way down, but a tough lay in for Sarah O'Neill. And Finlayson had that one land in her lap. Nice go ahead pass to Steindl, drew the contact, an accidental knee knock, but enough to. Unlucky foul there, but sometimes you get those as players, just got to play through it now. 
Paige Bradley, oh. foot inside the three-point line. Steindl, looking a little fresher than last time down the court. Rides the bump, puts it up anyway. Mm, tough a tough shot. turnaround jumper, Kayla Steindl. And Steindl, the offensive board, there was a piece of ring on that. So Finlayson will try again, won't make the same mistake twice. The corner three, Alexandra Finlayson. And Bradley the other way. McBean gives her the left, but they kick it out to Finlayson. Two triples in a row, Alexandra Finlayson. She's up to nine. Jenkins and uh, Paige Bradley going at it. Now Steindl, three on the shot clock, just has to go up oh. over hard. Big three, Kayla Steindl. Sneaky Kayla Steindl from behind. Alicia Jenkins hits the floor on the way down. Slow getting up. Jet lag in two games will do that to you. Finlayson, extra pass. Sarah O'Neill left oh, corner. That's gonna hurt. Transition, triple. Mills over to Finlayson. A couple of triples in this quarter. Banks with Lopes ahead of her. Gets to the hoop. Rides the contact. Does nice. And Zoe Banks getting in on the action from down low. It's O'Neill to the hoop again. They just get to the rack. And Georgia 15 on their shot clock to work with. Bradley into Finlayson. Back out. Nice triangle action there. Oh. Big triple. Shot blocker in the NBL 1 South, but um, they've just gotten to the ring at will. Oh, they've put up shots like that. Paige Bradley just thought, I'll stand and deliver it over Alicia Jenkins. Sort of just after the start of the season, and she's been a valuable commodity as well. Routinely third option. Kayla Steindl, though, she's been routinely the number one option and gets that one to fall. Finlayson, first to the ball there, gets that one. Vince Leu running the pace. O'Neill now getting inside. Banks, corner, three, bang. Doing most of the heavy lifting, carrying the ball. Five seconds left on the shot as Finlayson chases her own ball. Steindl, NBA range, gets that one to drop. Yep. Ashland probably a good pinch yep. hit as well at 6-1 around that mark. Six foot to be able to spread around the three there. O'Neill dumped down to Steindl who gets that one off glass. And Kayla certainly warming up a bit quicker here. Hobart and Eltham with everyone with a lot to play for. Double team there, Banks. Nice thread inside of the needle there by Finlayson. Veteran feed. Feed now through sets of hands. Hobart like really walking that ball, so to speak, over. O'Neill takes a tumble as Banks sees a gap, goes up herself off glass, gets that to fall and one opportunity. And Zoe Banks, Mark, of course. They'll say, yep, we'll live with Sarah O'Neill shooting that. Uh, you know, one pass into the zone. And then they just come down and drop a dagger at the other end. Wynn takes that one. Steiner with a response. As we can see, Vince Lowe and... O'Neill were on the wide, but second opportunity there. Steindl with an M1 opportunity for 18 points so far, looking for 19. And just trying to space Steindl out once again. She's probably going to look, get that mismatch down low. There it is. Turn, fadeaway, jump shot. Kayla Steindl getting that one to fall early. She's up to a game high 21. Yeah, because there's not that, that scoreboard pressure for Eltham. They can pull up and, and actually, you know, there's no real consequence if you miss that. Steindl for the response. Gets that one to go. Does she have support? She has win in the corner as she wants it. Lytle with the hot hand. You've got to press up. Good read there by Broomhall. Not bad, though. The feeding side. Good block there by Mills. What a 90 seconds there for Eltham, who have blown this game open, Nashi. Yeah, and just did such hard work for the charge at the offensive end as Steindl knocks out another three. Another three for Steindl. Keep, so still keeping them in it, but really giving the Chargers some trouble. Eltham lead this one by 14. Margin was as low as four. O'Neill, catch and shoot, three, gets that one to drop. Ball, Finlayson, three, back iron. Steindl cleans up the glass like Windex. Make that 29 now. And both sides probably just need to get into a set here, Mark, instead of rushing through, although Banks open the corner three is not a bad option. Yep, no, they'll, they'll be, and look, 10-point game, so timeout. Have to get a check on her. You would have to think double digits uh, on the glass as well tonight. Finlayson, skip pass, O'Neill. Above the break, three, bang, bottom yep. of the net, margin at six. Yep. They are playing like it's a home game right now, leading by 13, 79-66. Get out of the house. Marshall gets that batted away. Eight and two, pouring in 90 a game, getting 40 boards and 20 dimes with it as well. They know how to crash the glass. They know how to move the ball. And that man, Jared Bairstow, is in a bit of form as well. Probably his best game for the club last week. And a nice match up there. Bairstow playing as much as he can. Good pressure there. Jared Bairstow deserves the reward. Gets it. Watson himself round the back. Callum Boucher went to catch a body with a two-handed wham-bam jam. Thank you, man. Some with five seconds to operate here. Running downhill. 
gets the split, goes through the defence, puts up a prayer, not answered, deflected away. Watson with a prayer. Gets that one on the buzzer. Score will count. And at quarter time, just a double screen there near the foul line as McDaniel catches that pull up 17 feet. That's bread and butter usually. Zach White, second opportunity, gets that to drop. Yep, and that's what Zach White's still so good at and really playing above the rim. And of course, with that Achilles injury, certainly hurts the help defence staying on the floor, as you mentioned. As Richards inside. Very intense attack there from Jacob Richards. Uh, JB, bare so, he sold one right back at him. Absolutely. As Boucher gets inside, uses the body well, gets the basket. Flop warning as well. Yeah, flop warning given there, I believe, by... You know, even the Jack Jumpers NBL team, put a lot of small ball, even though they're not all Tasmanian players, our state team. So, you know, we find a way as a state. As we Jordan Strassman knock one down. Yeah, gets that to go from the corner. Can't get much movement beyond the 45. As battle down low, Sykes goes down. McDaniel goes for the jumper. Sykes, get that out of here off the rim. Clears it nicely. Watson, corner three, gets that one to drop. Good start for the Chargers. Yeah, it's quite clinical, and that's the problem when there's there's mismatches. Uh, you know, you tend to get open looks because it, you know, the defense is always wondering as Devin Watson draws one. And goes for the end one. Oh. Dalton wants to go himself. Bairstow really playing well. McDaniel, correct hand in the passing lane, deflects that. He's running with Watson, who goes to throw it to him. He does. Contact there. Ball is there. Gives over to Watson once again. Good spread. Watson again. Step back no good. Bairstow clean for the rebound back to Walker, who cleans back up over to Boucher for three. Good connection there. Jordan Walker, good eyes over to Boucher for the three. Um, as we see Jordan Peel attacking. But no, Bairstow and McDaniel uh, are outstanding for this group. Good draw by Bairstow underneath. And Boucher gets reward offensively. I noticed in the charges. Yeah, well, it's all about getting to the gaps. And in a 2-3 zone, that's where the gap is, right? Smack. On the nail, right in the middle of the free throw line, as Sam McDaniel knocks one down. Stewie's still Parking up and about. Parking Good step up D there by Jordan Walker. So it's those sort of things. But, you know, you learn fast playing against... Get out of here, says Zach White. Sorry to interrupt there, Mark. Big defensive no. players. Bairstow for the response. He goes to square up himself. Griffiths now in the final minute of this one. Rolls to Richards, who goes inside and attacks the rim. Two-handed wham, bam, jam. Thank you, ma'am, to end. And that was a power. How fast paced Hobart can go. And the same with Frankston as well, too. Can you match it pace to pace? But don't get into a track, mate. Coleman with a quick fire shot. Gets that to fall first shot as a charger. Like a transcontinental flight lately. She's back in Tassie. Let's hope she got freaking fly points, Jobo. Oh, absolutely. Coleman now with the ball back to Banks. Bradley space to shoot. She's going to take it. Does. Launches up. Nothing but net. Yeah, absolutely you will. And I'm sure Dean King, Kingsman would have made sure of that throughout the week of training. Banks, Bradley, three. It's been fine all day here in Hobart, but it is raining inside here at the Hobart Neville Sports Centre. Okay. It's Coleman now wanting to go isolation. Does. Pulls up on the dribble. Goes inside. Draws contact. And one. Corey Coleman on fire early. Oh, absolutely. She's dominating this game early, <laughs> position why, or otherwise. And why not t- try and take that three right now when you've been on fire? Absolutely. Bit of a heat check. Threat inside. Mills seals, takes contact, rolls off glass. Good option there. And I think the Chargers are going to have to continue to switch it up and go inside where they can. Can't get a friendly roll there. Banks battling for it. Is that one nearly deflected out? Coleman catch. Wants to spread. Kick pass. Above the break was Bradley. Pull up, jump shot. One dribble. Gets that to fire. Fundamental basketball. Account for that one there is Bradley. Goes the seal, threads the needle there to Ashland, who's got room to go. Has that one stripped away. Fights for the ball on the recovery there. Has support, has the chance to square up herself. Wants to go to the drive. Keeps the pivot. Good post move there from Jasmine Ashland. 41-28. D'Angelo again. Season open lane. Drives down, takes the gap. Get out of here, says Paige Bradley. Gets a block on that one. Mills rolling off the screen there. Birthday during the week. Happy birthday to Lauren Mills. Jacob Richards as well in the men's program. Oh, yes. Sharing a birthday during the week. Inside there. And one opportunity for Sarah O'Neill. That's got our hype man, Craig Irons, up and about in a couple of uh, calf raises there. I believe Rex had a good bath this week as well too, Jacob. Yeah, I think he's had a bit of R&R, a bit of respite, yes. a bit of a massage in that. We uh, had to be careful though. <laughs> yes. As Paige Bradley for three. It's Hobart in that department as well too. Um, so Hobart ring out to push their weight around. O'Neill looking to get the offensive game going there. Second opportunity goes for her. Ashland now gets inside. Bradley wants to go in the paint. Gets everyone oh, nice in the kick. air. Mid-range jumper there by O'Neill, who's been the spark in the third quarter offensive. Up the road tomorrow night for them. They will start probably a wee bit of preservation in this fourth quarter coming up. As Coleman gets inside, takes a contact, and one. Quickly find her. As she's dissipated down the list. 
Uh, she's not even on the list here. Well, there you go. But she has had a really good yeah. game. Good defense there by Banks, forcing that out of bounds. Uh, the only person is uh, Cherenshoff. Cherenshoff. And she is looking to check into the game and get on the board. Another hustle rebound there by Broomhall and gets rewarded with an O'Neill three. Beautiful assist there by Chloe Broomhall. Out, built it down. Thread inside, thread the needle there. Paige Bradley to Lauren Mills. Beautiful find there on the... Uh, lifting the atmosphere in the... Which we need to after a massive break. Perina, now McDaniel. Needs to get a Richards shot. from deep on the shot clock buzzer. And the crowd has waited close to an hour for that first... Uh, Going to be really accountable, this Frankston lineup. They need defensive structure here. The Chargers, one through five. So McDaniel works his way through. Pull up, Jay, is good yeah. for Sam McDaniel. McDaniel putting it to the floor now. Into Besto, Besto on the cut and the two. Yeah, nice basket there by JB, who again really working his game. We will have to go and get a number update, I do oh, believe. We'll uh, we will get on to that as Four. we go along. Watson from downtown, yes, makes that one to go, and he shot that from close to halfway. McDaniel now Watson, Watson thought about it. White Byers looks good, is good for Sack White. Yeah, and he's really developed that game into a true 3 and D kind of player, right? Absolutely. 15 is Pierce, by the way, as well, too. Henry Pierce, not the 14, the 15. No, 15 for us. Meanwhile, the two goes down yeah. there for the charge. Another shot there by Watson makes that drop. Tough shot. Besto, tap away, rebound, tap away. Good again. save, good save. Deserves is a it? bucket. Gets yes! It. A miracle play from the Hobart Chargers. Jordan Walker using the netball thirds to inbound this one. Yes. Watson off glass. Yes. And gets the reward there. Nice assist. And Walker now up for a challenge here with Lucas Barker. We'll see how this one goes Absolutely. to the young fella. Absolutely. Turn it up defensively and then offensively really get going here. Maybe. Yes. As I like to say, Ronnie, Hobart are in the Tour de France. A good start here by the Chargers. Karina, just a g'day. How are you going at the halfway line? Absolutely. Meanwhile, McDaniel into Richards and gets the number two. That's a five-sip run already. Because they may be playing a little too excited. Richards fires from deep. Gets it to go down from downtown. Andrew Harms has seen it up. He'll call timeout. Watson now with it. Callum Boucher looking to check in. Meanwhile, McDaniel now needs to get busy. Into what? Oh, beautiful touch pass into Richards. Yeah, heads up play there by Zach White. Knocked that straight down the middle of the lane. So McDaniel now working his way through. White thought about it. Back to McDaniel. McDaniel goes up off glass. Yes. Yeah, gets that one to go through nicely. Pierce just caught unawares. And now the ball here with Barker. And then Watson able to pick that one off. Watson off and running. Goes up and gets the two. Nice opening lap here for Devin Watson. And again, though, for Hobart. Now, Watson puts it to the floor, goes up, acrobatic move, and it pays off for Devin Watson. A really nice move by Devin Watson, going up, taking a contact, working through it. So Barker looking to go to work, goes up. Oh, and get out of here! By Richards. Jordan Walker checking into the game here, substitutions. And on the break here. Just slows it down. Yeah. Otherwise, he was going to be on the break himself. Pierce oh, get out of here by Will by Ferguson. Ferguson. Nice elevator. In, in this one where you go with a big, bigger lineup with Mills in, included. Bradley with the ball, loses the handle, has 13 seconds to go. You are tuning in from the South East Sports Complex here in Sorrell. First basket, Paige Bradley from the netball third running. And again, Ronnie, as we mentioned, a bit of size out the perimeter here for Ringwood as well. Uh, absolutely. And Corey yeah. Coleman for the response. Why not? Corey Coleman finding that range now after a couple... Midnight operation last night by the time we... Um, dotted the I's and crossed the T's on that one I there. took this morning off, JB, as Coleman knocks well, it I'll tell you who's not three. taking the night no. off, though. That's Corey <laughs> Coleman. And what is a unique spaced venue here, Ronnie, but a, a yeah. great venue in the south and shining example of the possibilities as Coleman takes contact on the three, knocks that one down. She's finding a groove now, JB. As Bradley feeds down to Mills, just didn't have her hands ready. Ball nearly taken away. Coleman recovers. Oh, she's going to shoot another for three. She is on fire here at the South East, South East Sports Complex, JB. Ball now to Banks, pardon me. Back to O'Neill, wants to go inside, goes to open up, takes the drive, gets inside, takes the body, and one opportunity for Sarah O'Neill. Basket dropping down there for Hermita, Marta Hermita. Yeah, that was a nice shot. O'Neill with a floater in the mid-range, nothing but net there. Yeah, a big shout-out to Clint. I think he's up in Sydney with family stuff going on. So, oh, shout-out yes, to him. Shout him. He's uh, working overtime as well. Shot drops Coleman. down for Coleman. She's working that, overtime as well. that's a crucial bucket. Xavier Dersma, arrow yeah, going there. That was Robin right. Hood left, right and centre. My word. It's Karina getting his profile photo taken here. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. 
Coleman. Oh, ball fake, step inside mid-range jumper, as easy as you like. Oh, lovely work there by Corey Coleman. On a defensive end, Hobart needs to do a better job and then offensively put the points on the board. So here's a chance to start that off nicely, and Sarah O'Neill oh, does in the short corner. Banks back to Broomhall, who's had a really sensational weekend, really boosted her stocks. Feeds yeah, inside, nice. Broomhall wanted it, got it! And one well, opportunity. That's Chloe, great. Chloe That's Broomhall great. working hard. That's great vision by O'Neill too. Bradley with the rebound now, transition through the far side as O'Neill in support, uses her eventually, catch and shoot Sarah O'Neill, rattles it home, margin one point. Timeout taken by Jeremy O'Toole. Needs opposition to move out of the way, they don't. Broomhall again with another rebound. Good offensive rebound. Second time to charm for O'Neill. Yes, her confidence is now sky high. You can feel Hobart it. coming in with a one-two kind of combination, but then Ringwood looking for the big knockout. As O'Neill wants to go herself, gets a response. So, O'Neill scored. 12 seconds to go, Coleman isolation. Watch the drive, oh, nice. oh hesitation, Ooh. dribble round the back. Oh, oh what Top a 10 player of the week, Coleman. top 10 player of the week. We'll see what happens here. Bradley with the ball. They're probably looking Bradley or Coleman. O'Neill rolls inside. Banks in support. That's an open three. Needs to drop. Does. That's big by Zoe Banks. Now you've got to get Mike up. Karina, 6'9", 6'10", and Sturt equally up to the challenge there. Probably closer to that 6'11", Mark. McDaniel now putting it to the floor, Good looking boy. for his options. Goes up and off glass. Gets the two. Yeah, nice start there, Sam McDaniel. And again, he's looking for options on the back door, but now goes exploring. Besto works his way in. Hook shot is good. Yeah, that signature hook shot by Jared Besto doesn't really flick his wrist or give it much elbow. Just guides it right up there, Ronnie. Watson into McDaniel. McDaniel thought about it, but turned that one down. Looking for Besto here. Besto going to work inside into Karina. Karina finds his way in and gets the roll. Yeah, keeps his feet there, Mike Karina again, much like Corey Coleman. Absolutely. Second quarter underway here from the South East Sports Complex here in Sorrell. Boucher working his way inside. Nice move by Callum Boucher. Pulls up from the free throw. Can't get that to go on. This is where the charges now. They are playing with a bit of pace, but this is a good time now. Slow things down. Well, Devin Watson could just take the Watson three, though. Watson for three, yes. Now into Bairstow. Bairstow thought about it, putting it to the floor now. Finds an opening off glass, gets it to go. Yeah. He'll go to line for one. Great second opportunities. Big defensive play and it paid Woo. off there for uh, Jack Barry. Meanwhile, Rich uh, Bairstow. Oh, through the needle. McDaniel. 49-54, both sides nearly at the half, ton at the half. Karina, one-on-one -on -one with Fennel. Karina, easy as you like. Beautiful move by Mike Karina. That is really, really smooth as well. Mike Karina rolling off the hip and shoulder there. Easy off glass. Why wouldn't you when you get over the defence like that? Apologies. He's 36, actually. He's listed with made him a year older. Meanwhile, McDaniel for the response. Yeah, nice response there. Sammy Mack, that cracks 60 there for the Chargers early. Hawks at 52, margin at nine. Now Karina. Karina, look at that options. Richards for three. Yes. Yeah, good feed there by Mike Karina. McDaniel working his way through now, looking for options. Best oh, to Karina. Inside. Beautiful pass and great play there by Be uh, Besto and Karina. And, of course, just the space to operate as well. Zach not necessarily known for that within this team right now. Daggett goes up. Good defensive play by the Chargers. Ball goes out of court. Ring will get it back. Good defensive play by the Chargers. And now McDaniel off and running. Has Karina in support. McDaniel goes solo and makes it done somehow. Watson putting it to the floor. Now Karina thought about it. McDaniel down low, one-on-one. -on -one. Now ball gets kicked out. Karina, good use of the body. Watson on the shot clock. Buzzer! It counts! Ringwood is saying it's a no, no basket, but they call it good on the floor. Daggett. And then Besto off to Watson. Watson for the finishing touches. Yeah, nice basket there, Devin. Watson. Inside pass there to Besto. Trying to find an open spot in the key here. A lot of foot movement there from Hargrave. Did mud up. Nice kick outside. And Daniel to Besto at the point. Well, look at another three here. And that one drops. Good start here. Well done, Devin Watson. Falls long. Still stays in the hands of Hobart. McDaniel answers for him instead. Picks up another two. He gets the knee like Dirk Nowitzki. Watson. Gee, that was an unbelievably good inside pass to Boucher. All had other ideas. Oh, what a grab. Long pass. Gee, got some height there. Simon's wanting that charge look and just left
Falling short was deserved. Now, Broke it heavily defending Watson. Another foul, and that one will go in for bonus. The Eagles are failing on those shots, but he's in around, and Daniel was almost thrown off balance. Watson with a nice fake. Oh, he kicks pass. it inside. Unbelievably good look. That's the second or third tonight for Hobart. Feeding inside. It's now skipped across to McDaniel. He's just thrown it back outside again to Clark, and he drops it. Good answer from the Chargers. What can the Chargers do to get back to that? Impressive lead they had in the first quarter. Plays like that are absolutely going to help. Great inside feed to the captain. To Allen. Skip pass to Manyang who sees an open key and a really good rejection there. However, it's a very good collection by Worthy for two. I want to go in again. That's a very easy drive and not a particularly good foul. The Eagles aren't too impressed. Flicks to Allen. Now Capitola. Simons back to Capitola. Nice inside feed. The official just seeing hands there. Corner and now fed inside. Very quick ball movement there. Throwing it in the triangle as, gee, with one second on the clock, they're just going to have to put it up through White. Good effort. Three points. To help Don and Alley get over the line. Watson. That one now fed inside to Hesto, who turns and shoots, and everything falling at the moment. Worthy. Feeds inside to Perry. Sees an open key, but he's heavily defended. Ooh, and very heavily go. defended. Great block there. Well done. We want to move it quickly. Watson just a great drive as well, too. That's not much Eric and Fritzis can do there. Sniper scope on their hands in this second half. Tola had hands on. Still going to take it up, though. And a good response there by Callum Boucher. 27 points, but 6.43 remaining. Well, if any team can get hot quickly, it's this one here. Maybe McDaniel can start it. He can. A big three right there. Easy to score opportunities. Just working it around there is McDaniel. He goes all the Tough way, finish. and that's exactly what Hobart needed. Get up, go, up, go at it. Besto at the top. Great baseline cut. Has to spin in traffic. And one. Devin Watson. Pass back out now to White. Into the corner. Boucher. Boucher three ball. McDaniel now. To Watson. Watson driving, pulling up. And Watson scoring. Gets it into McDaniel. McDaniel working into the keyway now. Off the window, McDaniel. That was nice. Stythe, pull up. He got it blocked. Great block there by Boucher. Watson going into the middle of the key and scoring. That's how you break down the zone. Watson on the ball. Watson, floater. Put back by Bearstow. Again, Hobart just struggling to score here in this term. Kick out to the corner. Three ball finally comes. Kick out, Harris. Harris for three, just missing. Forsyth with the rebound, goes up with it. Batted away. McDaniel has the ball now. Stythe on McDaniel. McDaniel taking on Stythe. The two spearheads go at it. McDaniel winning that contest. And the and one. Now to White. Out of Watson, up fake. Then got the baseline jumper, that was nice. McDaniel. Bearstow to White. White up with it and White scores. Three second shot clock, got to get something up here. Drives off the window. McDaniel, somebody stop him. McDaniel penetrating the key. McDaniel with the opportunity for an and one. Off the window for him. Four point lead now for Waverley. Watson, he's got some space. Watson with a triple. Gets his team back in it. And the Falcons' nest goes quiet. So McDaniel down the floor. Falcons with a five point lead. Bairstow straight down the middle. Bairstow scores on Harper. Gives it to McDaniel. McDaniel handoff, Bairstow, 
He goes hard at the rack. Kicks it out to McDaniel. He'll put up the three ball. The three ball comes from McDaniel. Burrows just couldn't quite get the rebound. Good hustle there from Finlayson. Coleman will fire from three. And there opens the account for the Hobart. The way of Diamond Valley. Almost picked pass there, but Hobart retain it. Bradley to the point. And Sandal wants to end that scoring run and does. Baseline play. A lot of time. Want to go for a three again. That one pays off this time. Really good shot. Well done, Paige Bradley. So, really inside look. Hobart need to make this work for them, and that time they do. And that lead suddenly evaporated. Gee, they want to answer quickly through style, and they do. Suddenly scores are coming from everywhere both ways. Banks. Goes to Bradley at the point. Steindl. And now another three-point attempt and another big shot there. Well done, Coleman. Moves around, eventually falls into the hands of Coleman on the baseline. Now absolutely cleaning up inside Hobart. Diamond Valley have no answers for it at the moment. As Bradley, just worked by Dunn, takes that screen. Now she kicks it long. Every player worked to that far side of the court. I can't find a string of shots or just the ability to stop. Hobart's offense right now is they go for another outside attempt and another three-pointer to the Chargers. Gee, that's not just Hobart in general. That was just a really good look from Bradley down to Steindl. Can't make it work. They can from outside, though. Another three from Hobart. And they take it back to that 10-point lead. Coleman, just great balance there. It's almost like she was fading away, but just rose and looked very good in that shot attempt. So, Burrows. To Sari, inside today, and a big rejection there. Yes. Hands all over that from Steindl. So, Bradley, she kept done at bay with her arm there, outside to Coleman, and now everything is dropping from beyond the arc for the Hobart Chargers. Well worked in the key there, but Bradley decided to kick it out. Another three point. Oh, and deal. one! Wow, the official saw that nice and easily in front of him. That will drop. Just the tipped one there, but gets it back. A skip pass. This ball movement is what the Eagles were doing in the first term. Hobart are doing it back to them now, and it's resulting in shot attempts. It results in plays like that. So, very good defense. As O'Neill kicks it around to Bradley, goes inside, another two there for. It's just coming now when maybe Hobart have just dropped their guard just a fraction. Bradley inside, just, I mean, an absolute massive height difference there. And she's played an absolutely oh, fantastic yeah. game in offense for Hobart. Well, I just look at the three there and just cannot go wrong now. Ball control is just excellent as well, too. Especially the point, as is her inside passing. That is absolutely fantastic. Inside the Mills for two. O'Neill, Steindl, swinging the ball, Broomhall. Coleman from deep, and Coleman opens up with a triple. As they press the ball down the floor quickly through Bradley. Bradley pulling up. Nice, that was lovely. Bradley found the space to the elbow, pulled up with a great jump shot. Goes baseline, pulls the shot up. O'Neill ends up getting her own rebound. Bradley with it. Now to O'Neill. O'Neill puts up the shot, and that's in. Hand off to Bradley. Steindl from deep. Yes! All net. Nothing but nylon. Had to get that one away. That pass was picked off by Bradley. Bradley playing well at both ends of the floor. Bradley, coast to coast, off the window. Coleman on the 45. Coleman going to work now, driving. Coleman with a kick out. Now Bradley, yes, counted, big three. So after a 24 and a 14 second clock, he didn't score, Hobart had the ball. Great pass there from Bradley to find Broomhall, and Broomhall will score off the glass. Kick it down the floor. Bradley going to work, wraparound pass to find Broomhall. Broomall just needs to finish, and she does. Bradley down the floor. The roll was there. Great pick and roll. What a play. Looking to change the look for the Chargers. Great up fake there by O'Neill, and then O'Neill improved the look. Nice two from her. Coleman now to Steindl. Hand off to Coleman. Coleman from deep. And Coleman nails the triple. Beauty's one that really needs to step up in the absence of Beck Cole today. So does Carly Ernst as well. 
Taking a little while to get started, but I'm sure we'll have a big second half from her as Coleman. Rebound comes from O'Neill. O'Neill working her way into the key. Turnaround. And O'Neill. They saw the mismatch and they took advantage of it. Great work from Carly Ernst to use all of her height. Bradley now driving. Bradley with a nice fake and finish to the rim. Todd Hunter goes to the rack. Had a pocket picked in the end. Bradley will advance it down the floor quickly. Hobart charges. Happy to go in transition. Great pass to find O'Neill. At the top, Banks had plenty of room. Banks! Ernst into UT. Now to Mocky. Mocky up with it. Coleman with a block. Steindl. Hand off to Coleman. Bradley. Bradley puts up the three ball. That Ronnie continues to do his best producing. Appreciate that one there. O'Neill catches at 45. Around the world rattles that one in. Yeah. Just uh, managed to work through that one there. Everything is all good. As Bradley goes in, goes to fake, turns around, finds Coleman. She's just above the three-point line and knocks that one down as well. Hobart with two opening three-pointers for their contest. Lead this one 6-5. One would think Steinle should have the better the better go at it, but I could definitely see, um, who was that again? Sorry, Brookshire. Joe, Brookshire definitely go at it. That was Paige Bradley, though. That one couldn't go through Pierce. Coleman with the rebound over the top to Bradley once again. Not looking to attack. Can they hit another three, Hobart? They're going to try their best, and they have. That's four threes early for the Chargers. Bradley wants the hesitation. Couldn't get inside. Has Banksy support. Uses her now. Coleman offers the screen. Loosely at that. Steindl wants to go inside. Step through. 15 feet. Step through again. Use the glass. Why not? Kayla Steindl. Yeah. And a timeout by Paul Flynn. Absolutely. Looking to run the floor with Bradley, who's got high pay praise for Broomall. Speaking of Bradley, no doubt her folks are tuning in. Oh, nice Mills pass. unguarded down low. Just couldn't get that to go. Broomhall gets it, though, and she goes up. Gets the score and one. Hobart want to get again a nice, solid set here. Get out of this baseline play. Looked a little confused out of the stacks. Bradley's not confused on the jumper, though. Big yeah. basket once again, yeah. Paige Bradley. Yeah. As Broomhall and Bradley in support, uses Bradley, who uses Broomhall, who rolls. Catches it down low, goes to spin, turn around inside, hook shot, Chloe Broomhall, have a day. And then just find your way back into this ball game, and then it's going to be a big second half for Nutterwater. Shallow scissors cut there by the Chargers. Steindl gets a prayer answered on a Friday. And now all of a sudden they're offensively just been some of their best offense I've seen in, in a couple months. So as oh. Coleman throws one up. Oh, bit of hesitation dribble, and Coleman just says, thank you, mother, for the rabbits. Charges on the transition once again. Sides not slowing down. Quick game's a good game, as they say. Margin at 12. Less than a minute to go. 47 35. Steinle inside uses a glass, gets out the drop. Yeah, no, nice drive there by Stein. Defense the priority right now. The offense will come from that, and that's something Hobart have prided themselves on early. Steindl, seal inside, contact and one. Kayla Steindl. Still working hard. As Bradley wants to go inside. Goes nice. to the cutting room hall, found and one opportunity in the bench, loves it as well. 74 67, seven point margin. Coleman wants to go inside. Whether it's on the dribble or on the pass, couldn't get it to go. Oh, Ooh, she spins spin. off the defender though, threads the needle. Steindl, 15 feet, bang, but I'm on there. Uh, pretty play there by Coleman into Steindl and. Broomhall looking to attack, gives it back. Bradley, four, inside, Coleman, and one! And a, and a, re and a really good play by Hobart here. Corner shot taken there by the Spectres. Couldn't go. Rebound. Steindl. Bradley wants to go over the top. Does. O'Neill has support. Doesn't use it. Goes as herself. Draws contact. Doesn't matter. Shot oh, here of the Spectres. It is going to be that crash and bang on the glass from Hargrave. Absolutely. Because these two teams met earlier in the year. Meanwhile, Richards from downtown. Another big three there for the Chargers men. They'll want to try and bounce back here and build a bit of momentum into these last few games of the season. Absolutely. Inside Strasma off the pass from Richards. That's a nice get inside there from Strasma who goes right up. Hook shot there. Not a traditional perimeter player. No. And now Gandoflo off once again. Good, Good strip hands. by Bearstone. And now Watson into Richards. Richards for the layup. He's right up there in the leading scorers in the Colts Express. And we're on south. Tomasi rejected by Richards. Richards had a piece of that. Drasma putting it to the floor now. Season opening. Kick out to Clark. Cool. Thread the needle past the noggin there at Karina. Watson, oh, Watson. Nice move and the finish. Yeah, nice finish there by Devin Watson. And now Richards with it into Bearstow. 
Back to Hargraves we go. Hargraves on that cut. Beautiful play by the Chargers to kick us off term number two. Looking to get a bit of a, a blow, so to speak, very soon. Hargraves looking for Richards. Now went to Watson instead. Watson's step back is good. That is just nasty work there from Devin Watson. Looking at options. Looking for Stewart here on the curl cut. Goes to now. Stewart putting it to the floor here. Goes to Karina. Karina, beautiful Woo! move. Now yeah, looking for some help. Now goes to Watson. Watson with that on ball. Good defense there. Hargrave for the corner for three. Yes. Nice basket there, Geordie Hargrave. And Hargrave just needs to be consistent here in this third term where he can. Needs to avoid foul trouble. Watson kick out pass. Richards for three. Yes. And had an update for Jacob Richards during the half, Ronnie. He has been battling flu like symptoms. At the moment, a bit of a feeling out period here after a couple of minutes of the third term. Yeah, one would, one would mention that, yeah, definitely. Watson goes up and gets the two. Yeah, took the third of two options there. How will they use Corinne here in the third, Ronnie? More of a touch-and-go screen with a ball handler in the first half. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they utilise him. Oh, Jared Besto! Besto with a nice move. We always self-censor up here for some yeah, reason. Yeah, we... No dump button and thank God. Uh -huh. Watson putting on the chest. Oh, nice. knock it down, young and fella. And there it is, the two by Devin Watson. Good no, awesome. Lovely move. And the threes are 47 and 35, respectively, percentage-wise. So Griffiths into Karina, into Besto, good seal, and the two. David O'Byrne MP, more confidence consulting, Taz Precision Contracting, pass heat pump centre. Richards with the M1 play. Heating up there thanks to D'Angelo's heat pump centre. They are sponsoring Brooklyn Bruton. One of our more valued volunteers. And that, that as well too, JB. Richards with the fake. Richards. Oh, oh, fake to Marcy. The two teammates. Well, Jacob Richards does a bit of training with the JJ. Now Watson off and running here. And then he goes into warm to Marcy. Karina putting it to the floor. Oh, Karina. Yes. My goodness. Have you seen a big guy look so smooth? Char this is Charger's real first attempt at it. Had that pass been a little cleaner and faster, would have worked to much more effectiveness. Uh, underneath the rim, though, getting the tip in was Jacob Richards for the Chargers. Cannon Hill strapped the boosters to his ankles and fly. Smacks one down as they... Oh, oh my God! Down the other end, Richards responds with a dunk of his own. Who, through a series of passes, it makes its way to... Best though, but they oh. finally get one down off the glass, the Chargers, and it's back to six points. Not a whole lot of ISO, which I like. Hargrave Team basketball all the way. Hargrave for the Chargers just seems to be the link up in the quick fire to break the defence. That's yeah, going to be a shooting foul as really well. Really silly by Dylan Bucknell there. Why wouldn't you with the way he shot his last two field goal attempts? Now uses him for the screen. McDaniel. Oh. Oh. Got away with that, did Casey as Richard went the cut. Couldn't quite control the receiving pass. And great composure from both players there. And it's now back to a 12-point margin. Oh, that can't be an N1. Hands it off Hargrave. Richards. Now McDaniel. Jump shot from the free throw line is good. Court space for it. Hargrave. Bounce pass into the paint. Now gets receives the one-two. Don't tell me. Fires! Trailing Hobart, 49, 6.55 to play. Foot on the line. Referee not called. As McDaniel gets one to go off the glass. Jide gave him one in the head on the way up. Mason Perry's going to have to just fire it. Taylor is the recipient. Oh, no good off the rim. Looked good in flight. But White for the Chargers. Goes back quickly. Best though. Hand off. Great Richards. Pass. Watson. McDaniel. White. Inside to Richards. That is an amazing pass. That's a training drill and a half, that sequence. Million and Taylor linking up, but now the hand in. McDaniel will go all the way, has Richards for support, draws the foul, and gets the basket to go off the glass, and he'll go to the line for an add one, as it is McDaniel for the Chargers broadcast side. Well, if they are going to miss the Cavs, doing it quickly on offense, not a bad thing at all. That's a lovely pass. It's been relatively quiet from the Cavs boys, minus the Perry brothers, but... All the Chargers are getting their voices heard. McDaniel That's a goes pass. the fake lob, but finds Richards underneath the rim. Goes deep and back to McDaniel. And now Hargrave collects, steps outside the three. I but don't the think step, he made it in time. The step cost him the three. Oh, no, oh. the referees have called it. Oh. Three Charger defensemen collide for the rebound. Just took Bairstow. their time to now get out of defense. Eh? White bounce pass. That's amazing. That's all too often that they're running that play and getting away with it. 
considering been good been on, on the defensive end as well. Considering he's been on four fouls for almost an entire half, that pass into Richards is going to result in a shooting foul and an add-one opportunity as he gets it down. Yeah, we weren't really sure how they were going to balance out that roster. Was it going to be Nick Gabsh? Was it going to be Barlow? In fact, it's Kalen Kiddo as we get a first basket from Sam McDaniel with a strong drive to the to the rim. Watson gets all the way into the paint. Points are going to count and the foul's called. Here's Stratzma, hands it back to Watson. He gets in the paint, loses the defender. Foul's called. Points count as well. Watson will hold it up for the final shot. Gets the screen. No, he puts up a quick look and it goes down. Yes, he does. CJ gets all the way in, gets his pocket picked by Zach White. Watson hands it off to Barlow. Is it McDaniel, excuse me, finishes okay. off. And really executing very efficiently offensively. There he is once again, Watson. Bodies tumbling everywhere as Besto and Pino slow to get up. But down the other end, tough, high arcing shot. And Devin Watson, what a finish. That's how he makes a living. His blog gets all the way in, gets his shot sent back. Straight out of bounds. Okay. Here's Hargrave. Finds McDaniel at that spot once again. Tough look over the outstretched hand, but it doesn't matter. Short on that mid-range attempt. Watson gets to the spot, the floater from the elbow, if you don't mind. But that has been the issue for this home side all afternoon. Kalen Kiddo's putting in some work off the ball and the much bigger Zach White. It's the aggressive take, hangs oh. it in the air. Wow. Watson wants to try his best to end that as Bearstow oh, converts. So smart by Jared Bearstow because he... McDaniel looks up, sees three Sabres jerseys, so he slows it down. Goes to Zach Wyatt, nobody to cover him, and that's a coach killer. He's on an island. Watson, his eyes have lit up as he goes for the step back three, and it goes <laughs> down. And not much more you can do if you're Dane Pineau there. Slow down these Hobart charges, and leaving Zach Wyatt open from three isn't really going to help their cause. Well, they get away with it that time. Oh, but... tough finish by Richards. He was an absolute legendary high school coach in that area and then became a great college coach. Oh, tough finish there from Jared Besto through. And Casey had another two, and they're up by six as straight up the other end in transition. Banks gets one off the glass, and we're back to a four point game to Bradley. So many two-on-ones that the Cavs are creating defensively. It's yeah, great. This defensive zone is really clean. And that's a fantastic, a fantastic shot away by Banks. As the Chargers transition quickly into a fence, they're going to have to make something happen here now. As a deep three is good as well. Corey Coleman replies with a three of her own, and we're back to a five-point game. Bradley with the rebound. Oh, sorry, that was... Um, uh, Coco Aaron with the rebound. Quickly up the other end though via Coleman and the basket is good. As Banks broadcast side as Blickarves to beat and Coleman for the screen. Bounce part. Finlayson with the three. Good! Finlayson and now Coleman. Oh, tried to go a little cheeky. Oh, that was brilliant. Really well yeah, done. Setting that. up the three point as well. Broomall had to keep control just inside court. And now Bradley steadies for the three. No good. Casey breathe, no, Coleman with the rebound, bounce pass though. Brilliant Flick, pass. Flick arms caught unawares, and Broomhall gets one back for the Chargers, 29 and 28. And Bradley for the Chargers comes up, far side of court, drives straight through Gilliam, then to Bell. Did well to take the contact from Bell in the end there as well. Shot went up and down, and we're back out to eight points. Casey 39, Hobart 31 as Bradley beats Gilliam, open jump shot, good. And they get the response back straight away. Bradley wanting a hands-in foul from Gilliam. Gilliam giving her nothing as she goes to drive. Ran out of court and couldn't get the shot away, but that's clever. And that's a really clean shot there by Ruby Aaron for the Chargers. And he bring it back to a seven-point game. Chargers will want this to be it. 
Bradley now drives. Has to beat Simmons. Did really well. to get the shot away. We'll keep an eye on that as Bradley. Char uh, Cavaliers, one down in defence. As Coleman drops the three. Yeah, Referees right. are going to have to stop play here for that at least well the done. substitution. That was great work by Coleman too. And the Chargers will use Bradley. And now Coleman over Bell for three. Good! <laughs> that hurts. Now Bradley, nine on the shot clock. Beats Gillian Bell. Great quick, pass. quick hand off to Mills in the paint, and they get one back, and they take the lead for the first time tonight. An absolute brick wall to get through tonight. You can't get nothing past her. It's Bradley with one on the shot clock. She's going to get timed out. Oh, no, well does just enough to get the shot away over the top of Blickarves, and we're back to a seven-point game. Goes with a long pass out wide to Banks. One, two, back to Bradley. Wants, needs to try and fake Cunningham, but its support is Van Clunen. Steps back oh. and over the top of Van Clunen. By Caitlin Cunningham. Bradley. There's off, a response too. Off the glass. Just got through the lane a little too easily. Right, and then was there. kept completely in check for the rest of the game. So good to get Funda going early here today. Stopping on a dime inside. Good look there for... Early on. A bit uncharacteristic for her. <laughs> She'll get them going eventually. Bradley goes inside. Beautiful. It's far too easy for the Beautiful Chargers. pick and roll action there and a great dive. Take, take a step out. And she's got that nice mid-range in her game, and that will get her going. All she needs to do is see one drop down. There's a beautiful fadeaway there in this game so far. Wisher once again involved defensively. Bradley all the way to the ring, draws the foul, and the layup's good. And again, good patience set there from the Sabres. The first action's not there. They go to the counter and get a wide-open look. What about the three? Decides to hand it off. There's a deep two, and it goes down for Sarah O'Neill. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As the margin sits at 11. Now extending this pressure out, Morgan Neely. Step back three from Bradley. Gets it in off the glass. Second deep two that she's hit for the game. Into the corner. Three ball goes up. And deep two, excuse me, for Finlayson. Wanted the foul, didn't get it. Here's Bradley. Inside. Great ball movement by the Chargers. Two points inside for Broomhall. Finish them. Bradley to Banks, who launches the three. No, Finlayson, excuse me. Chargers keep possession of this ball as GP gets caught in the air. Eventually get it in pretty easily in a really nice play. Georgia now up to 14. Oh, nearly threaded that needle. Mills eventually ends up with it. Points of her own. She's four of eight from downtown today. Here's Coleman. Had a tough night with the foul trouble. Those are the types of growing pains that are going to happen with a rookie player. Sabres also showing zone now. 3-2. Smart. Lost her footing and... The ball's whipping around here for the Chargers. Coleman found a bit of space on the baseline and found the bottom of the net through the contact. And Karen Mitchell not too happy with what she's seeing. As there's Finlayson with the deep two. Knocks that one down. Timeout called. Usually that mid-range shot, that half a step inside three is a bad look, but... When you've got that shot, that's yours to take. As Bradley has that. Looking to get through sets of hands now. Banks. To Coleman, who goes on the drive. It gets through. Draws a contact and gets that one to drop. Nice basket there, Coleman. 14 out our scoreline. Hollingsworth on the drive. Wants to kick out. Can't get that to go. Bradley. Continues to work down the floor. Goes off glass. Gets that one to drop. 14-10 the scoreline. Wanting to go to work here. Selfane goes into Umazawa. Who wants the drop step, turn around, fade away, get out of here, says Steindl. Looking for some off-ball action. Mills going off a double screen, receives that one. Bradley above the break three. Big game last night. Big shot right there. Cuts the lead to seven. Plenty of benefits to bounce pass, and we're glad you're enjoying them right now. Finlayson has that ball. Gives to Coleman. Pull up, top of the key, three. Bottom of the net. Nice response there, Corey Coleman. Margin to six, 30 seconds to go here in the first. 24-18. Getting through sets of hands. Hollingsworth with the dribble. The hesitation. Get out of here, says Coleman. 
Good response there on the defensive end. Getting up in the face of Steindl, who looked very unfazed. It's Bradley now on the drive, switched on the defence, draws a contact and an opportunity. And Paige Bradley with a bumper game last night, Ronnie, looking to repeat her efforts. Great supporters of our club this year. Bradley aggressive once again. Gives over to Steindl from the car park, making it rain from Creek Road itself, Ronnie. Charges into their first set here of this quarter. Banks uses that screen to Steindl. Pops back out, five seconds, goes inside, dumped down Finlayson, short corner for 15 feet, knocks it down. And a really good look by her as well too, so just knocking that down with such confidence. Well, Banks gets inside as the uh, coverage sort of breaks up there at the rim, and two points there for Hobart, cut yeah. it back to five. Just a bit of a bit of a small dagger, JB, as far as, you know, those Burning couple, momentum. Yeah, a couple of those misses. Oh, hello. Coleman of a nice pass by Bradley. Steinl now stretching out on Umazawa, wants to turn fade away, oh... Keeps that daggered leg. That's classic Kayla Steindl. She's up to 10 points now. Just to go to work herself to Steindl, who squares up. Turns around, goes a hook shot, gets that one to drop. Kayla Steindl, 16 points. Well, she's got a great something out of nothing, JB. On and off the court. Can they weather them, though, is the question. Banks, kick out. Bradley, three. Bang! Right, back to three now. As Bradley steals in the passing lane, has two lots of support, wants to go herself. O'Neill turns around, one point game. Yeah, this is a huge run now for the Chargers. She's controlled the pace of this game. Skip pass, read there by Banks in the defence. Has Bradley on the run, has O'Neill and Steindl. Bradley wants to pull up for the three, wants to, does! Tie ball game here at the Hobart Netball and Sports Centre. O'Neill now, under three minutes remaining. Slowing down, there's Coleman back to Steindl. Nice down the lane as easy as you like, nice speed. Burnett is looking to get Hollingsworth back into this one. Oh, he needs some control. Bonnet, Hayes Brown. Of course, the Perth Wildcats play goes up strong. Get out of here! Rejected by Bearstow. Watson off and running. Uh, we'll see his second season uh, in the roster. As Watson now fires from deep. Yes. Nice so, shot there from the Keylor Thunder as the heat pack. And all of a sudden, they lead it by three. They are not backing down as Daniel Savile fixes up the sign. Yeah, Richards on the uh, backdoor play. He loves coming down to high barn, I swear. And why not? Meanwhile, McDaniel putting it to the floor, goes up and gets the two. Yeah, nice drive, rode in nicely there, Sam. Finish on the left hand now for Hobart. Meanwhile, oh. McDaniel pulls up, can't get it to go. Bears stay with the O board. Richards for the response. Yes! He's been hot from three as well. That'd be human. That'd just be terrible to let a man I burn know. alive. And we know young Lockie here is a gun three-point shooter. Meanwhile, McDaniel on the move, gets it to go down. Yeah, good response there. So McDaniel looking to make this a one-point ball game. Oh, he tried to go to pass into Richards. McDaniel oh, Sammy McDaniel, get cycle. in there. Oh, and gets it to go. Sam McDaniel, pretty happy with that one. Offensively here for Hobart. I wouldn't be surprised if you see him try and stretch this floor a little bit as they go immediately inside to get a bucket. And McDaniel gets that one to go. He'll this is why I'm not a coach. <laughs> Checking goes up. Can't get the two to go. Yeah, big rebound by Bearstow. And, of course, Zach White here as Richards goes down the floor. Two-handed. Wham, bam, jam. Thank you, man. I knew I'd get one in. Triplet goes up. Good Rejected defense. Rejected by White and Bearstow. Now Richards this time. Clear for the two-hand jam. Wham, bam, jam. Thank you, man. Six on the shot clock. Watson needs to get busy. Goes up. Can't get the two to go. Gets the use of a friendly Ooh. tip. And the two. Ooh, that was some tricky stuff right there from... Uh, it'll be interesting to see what this last two minutes of this quarter bring. So, McDaniel now. Inside to Bearstow. Over React. Yes! He draws the foul on React. Jared Bearstow will go to line for one. Yeah. So, White inside to Bearstow. Bearstow goes up and gets another two to go. Draws the foul on Lewis. Wardley able to beat through there. And then poor pass. McDaniel is clear. Oh! Throws it down! Sam McDaniel with one for the fan. So McDaniel now. Richards into Bearstow. Bearstow, yes. And he's just working overtime down low, Jared Bearstow. I mean, a sensational game so far. Meanwhile, Warlow rejected by Bearstow. Get that out of here, he says. McDaniel, Richards for a layer. <laughs> the outside of Ferguson to get two points, but... Oh, nice play by the Chargers. Watson...
couldn't get that one to go. Mills got the rebound. Now quickly up the floor here. Bradley's pass paid off to O'Neill. Great running. She's been a really good addition for the Chargers this year, Sarah O'Neill. Music just bombs out in our effects, Mike. Mills down low, gets to the go. Yeah, really good move, Lauren Mills. She's had a good start to the game. A nice block there, a nice little left-hand hook. Through the first quarter here. Banks. Now Bradley on cue for us finally. And good timing as well as she knocks that one from downtown. Now Bradley, again, that on-ball screen. Now Mills down low, working away on Renault. Splits for a couple. Banks from the corner for three. Yes. So Banks looking to attack here. Splits a couple. Back to Bradley for three. Looks good. Is good for Paige Bradley. And Matt Sutton has seen enough. He'll call timeout. O'Neill. She's looking for some options. Goes to Bradley for three. Yes. 3.50 to go here before the major break as Coleman now works her way through. Needs help. Now O'Neill fires from deep and rattles that one home. Not the best start from the Chargers. No, certainly not. Can they uh, redeem themselves here on this offensive set? Coleman fries from deep and, well, that's one way to respond in kind. Patient, step through, waited for the right opportunity. O'Neill. Now Coleman for number three. Yes. He's feeling it, Ronald. Back to six points on margin here. As Hobart try to get this back within the least one shot, Mills gets the two. We're back to four. To attack, pulls up from the elbow. Can't get that roll. And then Broomhall gets the O-board. Bradley tries the luck from three, and it was a better option for Paige Bradley. A couple on, few on two, so no real issues there for Mount Gambia. No, certainly not. Meanwhile, backdoor play as Bradley now from deep. Yes. Bradley thought about it. Now Finlayson. Going to Coleman here. Coleman needs to get busy. Fires from deep. Yes. Bradley looking for Coleman. Coleman for three. Looks good. Is good for Corey Coleman. Back to seven. That's Bradley now works her way through. Banks this time fires from deep. And that one goes down for Sorry Banks. And that's a beautiful looking shot. And Bradley. And now they're fourth team foul. Score bench just a little bit slow. Bradley from deep, yes. That's a big three. Now they need stops and, and force those fouls. So they won the fire. Of course, he returned from injury last week. And his body's hit the floor. Meanwhile, McDaniel goes up, draws the foul. He gets it to go down. Now it's assessed on Shelley. Now Bearstow back to Watson. Watson working his way through, goes up, draws the foul, who'll go to line for one. Coming season. Yes, you know, looking forward to seeing Marshall play once again for Adelaide coming up. As Watson gets that one to go down. Watson's happy with that one. Signs for the veteran there, Sack White. Now, Bearstow. Bearstow goes up, he draws the foul, he gets to go for one. Now Gambia doing a good job spreading their scorers around, everyone getting involved here in this first quarter. There's McDaniel now. Spin move over Robinson. Pretty move by Sam McDaniel. And then Richard's able to pull that one in. McDaniel with it now as we come down the floor. Sack White on the run for the reverse layup. Great transition there from the Hobart Chargers after that miss from... So Watson putting it to the floor. Go kick out pass. Extra pass. McDaniel for the finishing touches. Great ball movement there from the Chargers. Watson with the penetration. Kick out to Richards. What about it? Watson slowing this one down. Watson on ball here. White provides it now. Watson fires from the land of plenty. So again, Watson with a 1-4 flat, you would think. Watson with every instruction you can think of. Goes up and gets the two. By Nick Marshall. And now Watson. Watson looking at his options, but fires from deep. And it was a good option there for Devin Watson. The Chargers back in the zone in that possession. Mount Gambia not quite sure what to do. Watson, oh. nice spin and the two. Wowie, that is quick. Comes down the floor. And now Bearstow with it. Bearstow puts it to the floor, goes up and gets the two to start us off in term number three. And now we're here with McDaniel. McDaniel going to work and gets the two to go. Now White inside, back to Griffiths. 
Now back to White. Oh, good passing by the Chargers. Best though for the two. That's really good inside outside work. Shooting wise, and um, Brisbane had no answer for him. That was for sure. Meanwhile, the win, who had a good game that night too, back in 2014. Yes, yeah, so I could see JB absolutely utilising that. That is for sure. There White it throws it down with a one hand jam. They Porter. certainly are. Just tell by their body language there, Chris. They're really sensing a, a run here. Meanwhile, Strasma decides he's got some other ideas. It was that he was knocked two threes in a row. He would have been well within his rights to take another. Yeah, absolutely. Watson goes up, gets the two. The bank had just closed. Couldn't get the conversion there. Chloe Broomhall with her first start. We'll touch on that a little later. Coleman, three, bang. And this is really, con this is good confidence for Coleman. Oh, sorry, trail this one, two to three. Hobart with the lead. Coleman with the ball now. Kicks over to Banks, who catches 45 for three. That one's good as well, bottom of the net. And West is just fighting away through nicely. Just picking apart the Hobart defence and finding some good stuff. O'Neill wanting to draw a contact. Plays through it nicely. Gets the basket backwards and forwards early on here. Sorry, Coleman over Webb. Pinfall not counted. On the drive there, Broomhall back to O'Neill, who goes inside. Flooded from the foul line's good. Good to see Jack out on the floor. Of course, Westwood and New as well. Both two very good young Tasmanian referees who are... Sort of moving into the development space. Speaking of develop, again though, another three-point bomb for Corey Coleman as Hobart take the lead by three. O'Neill goes over the top, not used, gets it second time. Coleman gets it now, catch, shoot, corner three, bang! She's, uh, I tell you what, fire. she's on fire. Keep giving her the ball. But that's good, that's good aggression. They're being aggressive from the start and that's what they need to do. Ruby Aaron for three. Oh, the bank is open, JB! Couldn't get any checks exchanged earlier in the day, but it's cash money right now. The ADM's been ripped out of the wall. On the drive, kicks out over O'Neill, 45, 3, 6, 9, that is nothing but fine. Steindl fighting for the rebound against three, Coleman gets a second look, eventually gets it there, bang, bottom of the net. And again, Coleman continuing that good shooting form, recognising the mismatch, knowing that Finlayson, just a tad slower, Webb with that athleticism and a little bit younger of course, really attack the rim. Banks for three, gets that one to drop. There's been a lot of deep ball shooting early on in this one. She will be in high demand after yet another good season. O'Neill on the drive, steps through, defense by Simpson. Oh, threads down nicely though to Broomhall. Uh, I think that's a good defensive job as well too when you can only keep some of the eight points as Coleman, another three. I'll tell you what, there must have been an absolute slither of daylight there and Zoe Banks threaded the needle. Got to get on the help defense on the rotation that's much thir better. 13 points to her, 15 to Coleman. That's Banks for three. Can she add to her total? Yep, she up, does. Up to 13, JB, and she's having a sensational game so far. Yes. Yes. She is. That's yep. 16 points now. Coleman fighting through. Draws contact oh, and one. Right. And Corey Coleman will rip that one back as you like, Ronnie. Slows it down a little bit. Goes to Banks, who's really running the wing. Needs support. Launceston defence slightly confused. They blitz over. Steindl just above the break for three. Bang! All season with this tornado side. Absolutely. I think Lufus has been a great signing for, for Launceston, and I hope she comes back next season because she's provided some highlights just as O'Neill did there for us. Yeah, speaking of signing, has the drive and support. Does she want to go herself? She does. Takes the contact and get out of here into the sign. And taking out a few spectators. Well well too. Coach, and now it's time to be a family man. Hargraves with it here. Now Richards down low. Brown got a piece of it, but Bairstow picks up the scraps and the two to get scoring underway. And I tell you what, he hit the floor hard there. Watson with the rebound, who was in the gym earlier this afternoon when I arrived. Watson put the skates on and gets the two. Yeah, nice start there by Devin Watson. He'd be pretty happy for me to add that to his mixtape at the end of the game. Richards wants Bairstow, goes to him now. Bairstow, one-on-one, -on -one, back out to Richards for three. Yes! Big basket. Jacob Richards really been stretching the floor the last three weeks on offense. Usually... That was one of the talking points back in that time. That is for sure. McDaniel now pulls up, and that vintage two rattles home. Signature Sam McDaniel. McDaniel able to pick up the pieces. He's off and running. McDaniel, Euro step through, draws the foul. He'll go to the line for one. Great work by Sam McDaniel. Euros haven't been number one. And he was JB Jack. able to get the save there, yeah, both in the commentary box and out on court. He's gone down to say good day to his wife. Absolutely. The way Watson through the middle gets the two to go. Richards involved. Now to Bearstow. Mini alley of play look like it's happening. Now Watson fake. Shot for three is good for Devin Watson. Yeah, nice pass for Devin Watson. Seven points in the night for him so far. And and of course, we had, six. had the Elfin. The Elfin Media team come in as well too. Good to see them as well. Bairstow into Richards for the two. Yeah, just slipped through nicely there, Jacob Richards. And 
getting back to nine. It's Kareem and Kobe on the scoreboard. Absolutely. Paying homage to the greats tonight. Richards, Richards, goes up, says it, throws it down. Whip, what you can do, I can do better. Look out, Ronnie, we've got another lay up there. And Richards with a two. Head to end, stuffed here to Hobart Netball Sports Centre. Misto now putting it to the floor. Here's Watson now. Watson looked to attack and does and gets it to go. Devin Watson with an acrobatic move to the rim. He'll go to line for yeah, one. Nice basket there, Devin Watson. To go. Now, Woolley got it back. He's off and running, goes to Daniels. Get out of here! Sack wide. That's one of the blocks of the year right there. Thunder. My goodness, the thunder are rolling through here. Thunder on a fantastic run at the moment. McDaniel down low, goes up, draws the foul. He gets it to go. Yeah, Chilcott just drawing the contact on that one there. The way here as McDaniel down low finally gets it. Looking into White. White goes up and gets the two to go. Yeah, nice acrobatic move there by Zach White. It's here. Needs to get busy. Need to get busy in the charges. McDaniel has to throw up a prayer. And it was answered on the shot clock buzzer. Gets that one to go. Anthony Stewart is. As we uh, set for a cracker of a finish here. Woolley now. Um, so, uh, sorry, Chilcott puts that to the floor. Richard's got a hand on that. Watson looking at his options. Needs to go. Does. Trying to spin on Woolley. Beautiful oh my move. goodness. Seven Watson with one of the moves of the night.